I like dicks. Well, welcome to Why the show. Why would you start with that? It's a good soundbite. That's not part of the... Welcome. That, that song really has uh, grabbed me. It's a good... Go on now. Get down here and lick my asshole. It's also an awesome <laughs> way to open the show. <laughs> But, uh, but the oh yeah, that that's Sam fanfuck. That, I felt bad. That guy asked me to help get him into a. I think he wanted to get into the, the meet and greet or something, or he wanted me to do it. And I DM'd him on Twitter and I forgot. That, oh, the, you no, can't forget I, fanfuck. I, I apologize, man. I'm just when you're traveling, like one city just blends into the next. But I felt bad. I know he's a real fan. We well, got that rock star life. Well, yeah, for you a know, weekend at a time. Yeah, you wake up in the morning like, man, what city am I in today? You're like Mark Wahlberg. When uh, Jennifer Aniston... At the end of Boogie Nights? No. I am. <laughs> <laughs> when Jennifer Aniston comes to his hotel room, and he's like, I thought you were going to meet me in Seattle. And she's like, this is Seattle. You know, you do at times forget what city you're in. Especially when you're doing, like, uh, this, well, I'm coming, going to Denver this weekend, so it's like two nights in the same city, but... Normally it was a, uh, it's one and one. And you just do, you do one and you jump into the next one and you forget where the fuck you are. Hey, I get not, it. Not I, me. No, you're doing, <laughs> you're doing, I, the clubs are better. I mean, I like, I like doing the clubs. It's just, it's four, four shows a pain in the ass. Voss doesn't remember which city in Jersey he's in <laughs> a lot of the time. Ooh. Whoa, got me early zinger. <laughs> he did. I did. I did. I, that I, fruit I, juice is really waking you up in the morning, huh? That's good for you. Hey, you know who I like? On Twitter? You, know, you know who my favorite person on Twitter is? Oh. Uh, handsome Jim Norton. Yeah, he's funny. That's really I funny. I fucking love that guy. Yeah. yeah. I, I do too. I'm using that as my new promo shot. <laughs> So we uh, we have a special guest today, Rich Voss. Uh, we didn't know he was coming in. No, it's surprised. <laughs> Look at that photo. <laughs> Look at the, the Twitter header for Handsome Jim Norton at Sexy Jim Norton is the mouthful of shame Netflix ad. Sure, but I mean it's as handsome as I can be, as any man has ever been. Yeah, he's my favorite. Uh, it's person great. on Twitter. It's great. Yeah, we got a uh, we got surprised. Voss thought that we all knew he was coming in and was booked. We did not. He walked in the studio and he's like, "Hey, who else is coming in today?" And like Travis and me and Troy and Jim, we were all kind of looking at each other like, did. And it was so weird that you were looking at Jim when he wasn't here. Uh, and well, then, it was, then Jim got here yeah, and we did sure. the same thing. It's an unnecessary detail. <laughs> but I like details. But I know you do. You're a details guy. Yeah. But yeah, we were all kind of looking at each other like, did you know? Did you, did you know? It's so weird because I'm doing Bennington later to promote uh, the Ridgefield Playhouse February 9th. We're all doing a theater. Right. Me, Florentine, and Bennington. Oh, so, wow. Smooth. Uh, so, uh, so I'm <laughs> sneaking that in there. there. Well, yeah. no, no, I'm, doing, I'm not going to do bananas now until later. That's this weekend. But so <laughs> I, I, I text Roland. Last week I go, I'd like to come in either tomorrow or next week, you know, which is ever convenient for you guys. Hotels are like nothing now. Yeah. So he said, "Come in it's both. after the holidays." He said, "I guess because no, there's, there's no nothing happening. Yeah. No, no, but I think well, you're fine. He just didn't tell us. Right? Uh -huh. We have uh, we have a busy show today. We're all, you're always welcome. Steven Singer is actually coming in. He's a hard get. Yeah, Steven Singer is a hard get. I had to I had to pull some strings to pull this one off. I can't believe yeah. he's not even. Uh, anyway, uh, and we get Kevin Hart's calling in, and uh, he's added a hundred dates to his tour, so he and I have some things in common. Good. I'm going to ask. Uh, I want to get on his tour. I want to get on. You know, I want to close it though. I, I would have just let you have that one. when you did the, like, we have something, like, you know what I mean? You didn't need to jump in with something like that, did you? <laughs> no. Who? Yeah. Me? Yeah. No, I just... Like Jim, Jim was joking like, when he said we have some things in common. Jim I didn't know, add a hundred. I know, flat, so I tried to save him. <laughs> did I, it fell you, fucking but, flat. But yours was way flatter. No, yours was flat. Yours was, mine was, yours was, yours was real. <laughs> okay, I want to open for Kevin. Let's go to Troy. Let's go to Troy. Let me stand my defense. Let me make my defense. All right, no, you're right. Okay, stand your defense. Make my defense. No, stand it. In England, they stand. Oh. Uh... What I'm saying uh -huh. is I wasn't trying to make a joke. I was making a statement. His fucking joke fell. It, it wasn't It wasn't good. And, it, and it was I, a subpar joke. Right. <laughs> yes. Troy, so, Troy, and Troy, I don't who, like who, that with Norton because he usually hits a thousand. He who, hits fell, who fell flatter, Jim or Rich? I love you, Rich, but you fell flatter. That was oh, a little flatter. Oh, who else, yeah. you gonna go? Who yeah. else is he okay. going to go for? Travis. Who, Travis Dog will tell the truth. In that exchange, the Travis Dog, who fell flatter, Jim or Rich? I mean... It's got to be rich. It was rich. Yeah, you know, it was. Yeah, but I love rich. Guys yeah. are just like, Everybody loves you, but I you did. You. You Listen, did both. enough with the fucking love. Okay. You, I come in here. Yeah. You try to make me look bad right. when today I'm on top of my game already. <laughs> That's I was trying to make you look bad. I thought it was a good joke. You said you wanted to go on a Kevin Hart tour and open up and then close it. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it wasn't bad. Yeah, it was. It wasn't great. He has guys open for me. I think he has like a crew of guys that he travels yeah, with. Yeah, well, guess what? There's going to be a new guy on tour, a new guy in town. Does he have any white comics open for him? Probably not. Yeah, well, guess what? What? He, ha he has a major white audience. He has a big audience, yeah. Huge. So but maybe, whatever he's doing is working. Yeah. I don't know about that. Kevin's gig is, Kevin's is working. Whatever <laughs> it is, is working. You don't think he needs to retool the formula? It, it's, 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 it's stunning, the yeah. amount of people he does. I mean, he's a movie star. I mean, he when you're a movie star. He sold out. He sold out a stadium. Football, yeah, with, with the Eagles player. Stadium. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, right. he, that's where he shot a special, so I don't know if the tickets were... I guess you still had to pay, right? Of course you did. Yes. Yes, yeah. that's why I sold out. And yeah. he just taped one... Uh, he taped one uh, show. Ooh, one show. And then uh, we what? have Joe Kinnaman coming in. I thought yes. that was Bonnie. Today, yeah. too. Who's uh, Joe Kinnaman? Joel Kinnaman. He's an actor. Oh. Yeah. And He's what's in, he in? Uh, he was in uh, Suicide Squad. He was in House of Cards. He's on a new Netflix show. Oh, I know him. Uh, that's out now. He's a very tall, handsome man. Can you put a picture of him up? Because I think I know who it is. I saw House of Cards. It's called uh, Altered Carbon. In House of Cards, he played the young Republican guy who was running for president oh. against... Oh, he was great. He was great. His wife was smoking on yep. the show. I've never watched House of Cards. I saw like one episode, I didn't like it, but it was like the, the pilot of the first one. I just didn't like it. Pilot's weird. I remember watching good. the pilot not knowing what the show was, and I thought it was a little odd. But then once I really started watching the show, I, was, I love it. It was kind of based on the Clintons. The Clintons. Uh, that's it. I hate yeah. shows about the president. I, I always think they're corny and they stink. Like, uh, I, I love Martin Sheen. one of yeah. my favorite people. But I can never get into West Wing. Like, I think I saw one or two. Maybe I should restart that. What, Just it, Get into what? West Wing. Martin yeah. Sheen played the president. Yeah. Why? How come you... What, what's your problem with I don't with know. Well, it's I, I always feel like too. they're so biased in whatever it is. It just annoys me. Whatever they're doing, this I always... One, plus, I get what, yeah, yeah, this one doesn't... This one doesn't have... If anything, I mean, he's a he's a Democrat oh, okay. in it. And he's like the... the Crooked, evil president yeah. is a Democrat, which is refreshing because you don't fucking, see that a lot. They jumped a shark on this fucking season, yeah. like two seasons ago. Once when he started this making out, it. when he started making out with his driver, right? Uh, you know, and the whole I his mean, driver, I get a the, woman or a guy, guy, yeah. And I get making the, whole, the president gay, yeah, well, bisexual, sexual. Yeah, sexual. And but it may, I mean, it makes yeah. It Netflix, well, because, I love Netflix, but they're throwing these weird yes. little gay things into every. And again, fine, but make it part of the show. Like El Chapo, there's a key character who, you, who they reveal is gay. But it's not like a love thing. It's more like a, a, a twisted evil power no, thing. No, yeah, no, I understand. Plus, they're trying it's, to connect with you and your people. They want to connect with everybody. But it's not necessarily like I don't mind. I don't care if the main character or a character is gay. But I noticed, like in El Chapo, anyone who's watched it, the one, the scenes they're showing is just this guy kissing this other guy, and they're prolongedly kissing scenes, but they're not going anywhere for the story. You, like it doesn't mean anything other than this one does. It does actually go with the story. Okay, well, yeah, long, but I does. totally know what you're saying. It's like, yeah. I don't need to know that. It doesn't mean anything to me. To just I'm add it in for the sake of adding it in. I'm it's watching. Like, yeah. What are yeah. we doing? I'm yeah. watching a new show now, and it, and they, it's so much gay stuff in it. Uh, the Versace, the, movie. the Versace oh. uh, killing. Yeah, you know. So why would they put gay stuff in that? Which that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not necessary. How right is now. that? Andrew Cunanan, who plays yeah. him? Uh, the kid from Glee who uh, isn't not the dead. suicidal one. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh. The, he's good. the he's, one kid from Glee who's not dead yet. Is, uh, oh, you hit me and him used to email. Oh really? <laughs> you what? I'm joking. He's good. He's good. He's there good. Are, in and it. Ricky Martin plays uh, Versace's love, boyfriend. Is that who that is? That Ricky Martin? Yeah. He got old looking. Kind of. Yeah. Well, no, he's older now. Getting your La Vida Loca. Oh, actually, that's a good addition to the conversation. Yeah, like, and uh, Penelope Cruz is great in it. Do you, yeah. think, do you think Ricky Martin has his choice of fellas in the club? <laughs> yeah, Ricky Martin does just fine, even as he's, quote, old looking now. I think he does. Why is he hugging me in that picture? <laughs> just fine. I wish that was you in that picture. Is he dead? Yup. Oh. <laughs> that's after Versace was shot. It, we watched, I only watched two the, episodes came out. That's only two episodes. I've only seen the first one, but I like it. Is it I good? Like, yeah, I like it. I'll watch uh, it. I like Ryan Murphy's post-Glee stuff. The thing is, with this, and we're going to watch it, and we like the first two episodes, but who really gives a fuck about Versace? Versace. And they're not focusing enough on the serial killing of this other guy. It's an interesting, it is an interesting one to go for a second. Interesting choice. Like, after OJ was such a yeah. massive case, this was a big case, the Versace one, because it was a manhunt, and they, they found him in a boat or wherever the fuck he was. But there's other stories that I think are being more interesting than Versace. Well, uh, Ryan Murphy also tends to do, like, uh, shows that are, like, there's either, they're, they're, I don't know, there's a, there's a, a, a gay 
theme sure. around it. You know what I mean? Or at least it's 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 something that gay culture well, would. Well, maybe they just yeah, maybe they want to do that. They wanted to feature a gay a crime in the gay. I think they, I, life. they're also like I, I think he wanted to do something that had that kind of uh, over the top element to it. Like you have this crime story, but you also like include all the over the top lifestyle that Versace was living. By the way, off the, off the subject, what what? Cause this, it's a me. It's a, it's like a little meme, or whatever on Twitter. Like, what the fuck was that thing Paul Ryan did after Trump said something about prayer, and he looked up and he did that thing with his fingers? What was that? Shouting out to the big man upstairs. Was that what that was? That fucking phony Paul Ryan. That one's for you, G O D. Oh, was that douchey? Oh. That's yeah. a home run sign. Is that but is that what he's doing? Pointing up at God? Hey, got you. Oh, wave your finger. What an oh, asshole! Yeah. Oh yeah. Did you watch? You watched the State of the Union? Of I saw you live tweeting. Yeah. Was What'd that you from the State of the Union? Stop pointing to the same naked girl. Who is that? Who cares? We're talking about something else. She has nice tits. She does. Yeah. How was the State of the Union? I thought I thought he did it. He gave a, he did a good job. It yeah. Was, it was the best speech Trump has given. I think. Probably. And which isn't saying that much. He was very presidential. I mean, yeah, he was absolutely. dignified, no fucking around, no stupid shit. He didn't even yeah. shout out the fake phony media. I, Boy, I, he, gave, I, he gave MS-13 like five shout outs. Well, he gave MS-13 five shout outs in context of uh, illegal him. immigration. Yeah. And which, he said, horrible people. He called them horrible people. But I mean, I, I, I was kind of watching that going like, okay, because, you know, the... the, the uh, Chain immigration and all that stuff. I'm like, okay, yeah, I can, I can get behind uh, uh, fixing that and doing all this stuff. But when he started going after illegal immigration under the guise of gang members, I was like, why aren't you just going after gangs? Um, what, 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 yeah, like, well, I think he was saying that this is one of the problems of it. I get what you're saying. There's like lots of sure legal people here that are in gangs, right? Like if you got if you got rid of every illegal immigrant, you'd still have MS13. What, you certainly one? would, but you also, when, when you, I, I think he's, uh, again, he's just strengthened his point. I mean, that's what you do. When he's you, trying to, yeah. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. just strengthening your point. What 13 people uh, was he talking about with MS? Who, did he name them specific? Mm. Should have saved that one. <laughs> Wait, what was that, Troy? Mm. Not for you? Troy just groaned. <laughs> yeah. Rich Voss making those comments. <laughs> yeah. So, that, that one wasn't for you, Troy? No. <laughs> yeah. That's bad. No, he went... Uh, <laughs> it's bad? Yeah. But if you're the gang, now, if you're an MS-13, right. are you happy he said that? Because it makes you look... I mean, I mean, they're a big... They're so. huge gang. I mean, they're very, very the big. The most ruthless, probably, out of all the gangs. But does that make you feel good, like we're being mentioned by the U.S. president, or does it make you feel like, all right, now you know it's going to be a problem because it was like when Jimmy Carter read about... Uh, Fucking uh, Nikki Barnes in the New York Times. He's like, yeah. this has got to stop. No, I think it makes you feel good because it's it's not like he's shouting out specific gang leaders, right. like people or anything. It's just generally painting this picture of how scary and horrifying MS-13 is, which is what they want. And he's not going after the gang. He's going after illegal immigrants. He's just saying things about MS-13 to strengthen uh, his point about illegal sure. immigration, so they really don't have anything to worry about. And since when do they have a fucking conscience? They it's not a conscience, a meaning it's right. like it's like it's not of the conscience. It's about all right now. Law enforcement is going to come harder and focus more, and that's what they do. That's why the mob always wanted their names kept out of shit uh, because they the, 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 they don't want light on them. Yeah, I think if you were mentioning actual names of people or something, but everybody, I mean, people are aware of MS thirteen and. He's not going to war with MS-13. He's going to war with illegal immigrants and just trying to scare people by saying MS-13. I you know, got like, the uh, I got I got the answer by the way for what I I I, know the, I can read it, but the guy will tell Tony in uh, New York. Yes, about Paul Ryan. Hey guys, what's going on? Funky, hey, um, funky Tony. Oh, hey, above the uh, podium where Trump was speaking, the words "In God We Trust" were inscribed. So after he said that, that's what. Uh, Paul Ryan was pointing to. Okay. Still just as douchey, isn't it? It's horrible. It's thank terrible. you very much. It's terrible. Well, the reason he brought up MS-13, thank you very much, buddy, was because they had the two parents there, the two sets of right. parents whose daughters were killed by MS-13 in Long Island. I don't know what the circumstances around that were. Do you? Do we know? Were they gay? Were, they, were their girls hanging out with them? Were no, they, Were they known to them or no? Was it random? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't either. I remember hearing about it, but I don't know why it happened. But anyway, I think that's how it sparked it, because he had the, the parents there. I mean, I guess every president, I mean, definitely every president... Some people were like, oh, Trump was just using those people in the audience as Everyone tools. does that. Every single president ever has yes. had spots in their speeches where they do that. In the State of the Union, there's always people there that try to like strengthen the points of whatever the cause is. So that's nothing new. I thought that was when he was at his best, when he was talking to those... Those people, he came, I mean, you know, he came off as genuine when he was speaking to these parents and to that kid Preston and to the fucking, uh, 
you know, the, the cop and, 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 and the, the uh, guy uh, who, f- who was against illegal immigrants, who was the guy who fought the, uh, I guess, gang members? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy uh, in, in, in ICE. Melania sitting next to Preston. Yeah, she looked good. Fuck. She Although not, she looked stoic. Yeah, she didn't look at all. Like, happy? There was not an ounce of pride in her eyes. None. She was clapping. Yeah. She honestly, like, the only person who looked more miserable than Melania was Nancy Pelosi. It was <laughs> those those two just looked miserable the entire speech. And uh, Bernie Sanders uh, wasn't wasn't thrilled with the whole operation. He, yeah. he wasn't as bad as Nancy Pelosi, who was Was like, that the Congressional Black Caucus that was there? Like, what, what, they all had the thing on their arms. Who, who, oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. I don't know. Who, who are been. those guys? They all had the same thing on their arms. Like the orangish colored uh, like armband. Who you're talking about? Over the shoulder. And like when he said it's the lowest black em- unemployment ever. Yeah. And that got like nothing. Right. Like, some people are just insisting on hating. And and, and I, I hate the standing. It's just so embarrassing. I honestly thought. Yeah. And the, well, a couple of things. People are trying to say like, well, he's only been there a year. So even if black unemployment is down that far. That's not him. That's the administration before. But every, it's again, every president says that either gets credit or gets shit on for whatever's happening at the moment. Yeah, so I don't have a problem with him saying like, hey, right now, this thing is good. I'm the president. So sure, because you're going to take the fucking you're going to take the hit. I mean, I debated Trump on that when when he called in about Obama. Mm-hmm. I thought Obama should have got the credit for bin Laden. He's like, no, anybody. But it was like, hey, it's on his watch. Exactly. Precisely. You got to give the guy the credit. And if black unemployment was like uh, At its crazy, highest, crazy high, they'd be like, they'd be fucking blaming that. him. Yes, a hundred percent. So yeah, um, I, I, I'm just, I'm, I, I'm happy the economy doesn't stink right now. Oh yeah, Trump brought that up, didn't he? He should. Yeah, maybe it is partially Obama. Good for Obama too. Doesn't. Yeah. Who Thank cares? you. Who cares? <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Um, I was surprised by all the clapping to tell you that. A couple of things oh, really? surprised me. I thought that there would be much less clapping this year than other years. Because even the Republicans, like, you know, they say that there are Republicans always coming out not supporting Trump. But once they were in front of him, they were supporting well, him. Well, they was know any, that. Was anybody, any Democrats clapping at all? I didn't oh, yeah. They all clap for certain things. What will yeah. happen, whenever there's a soldier the mentioned, things. everybody's up. Yeah. Whenever there's, of course, the parents yeah. or like a local citizen hero, everybody gets up. There's certain one, But again, it's so insincere. It's they all clap like, for prescription yeah. drug uh Opioids? Yeah, no, no, yeah, they all they were like, oh, they yeah, all, let's have some. They all did clap for prescription drug price control. Yes. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah. And that was, I think, Trump, that's that that's not like typically like a hardcore Republican position. No, it isn't. He, he did a few things that went across the thing, that four pillar plan or whatever the fuck it was. Dude, was about, uh, I also thought that the speech would not go nearly as long. It was one of the longest State of the Unions. It went a full 90 minutes. Yeah, I, I thought it was pretty good, though. Did I mean, go- I didn't, I wouldn't go so, I thought it was good uh, in the sense that Trump came off as presidential and it was like, um, unacceptable State of the Union address. Yeah. He's not a good public speaker. Did he? Did he? Uh, terrible. Speak about a cap on health insurance uh, throughout the thing. He talked about the insurance and how you know. I, I don't know. He, he, he having spun to, uh, certain mandates. I thought he was good at. I mean, obviously, his speechwriter, or whoever, like he was well prepared and I, good at, at spinning things when he when he brought up health care and he was instead of talking about people not having health care, he talked about the people that were saving money, money. because they didn't have to put into government health care. It was just. Yeah, I mean, and, people, and again, uh, did that cost a lot of people the health care? No, I, some I don't people know. you never know. I mean, it's just everything's so biased. I know it definitely costs some people health care, but to what degree? I don't know. I think this comic, I don't know what he's doing in the White House, but he might be the speechwriter. This guy, Evan, say it. He was a real conservative Republican comic. Oh, maybe yeah. It's a great name and, for a speechwriter. Yeah, yeah, Evan, yeah. say it. Yeah, but they, but they, uh, they always have. Who's guy named John Mack used to work? For, he used to write for Leno. He would write a lot of speeches, but a lot of them cross over. It's not just Republicans. Yeah, they'll write him for Clinton. This guy would write, for, I guess, for Clinton, for Bush. I mean, they, they just have guys write them speeches. They had at the end. They had so uh, basically you're listening to a comedian's opinion, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> if, if he's the speechwriter, I know he's in the White House working. But you know, what I mean? that that's the funny part is like whenever the president gave a good speech, it's like no. Someone else wrote that, right? And it's not Trump; it's every president. Every ever. president, yeah, they, but also too, they're going over bullet points what he wants to say. Yeah, you know. So it, it's it's his words, just someone else is writing his words. I'd like to spill your coffee in your lap. Yeah, I'd so, be would fine with that. <laughs> so would I. So would I. Auto, do you see so Auto Wombiers? Warmingers, parents, yeah, parents there, yeah. That's that such a sad. tough story, and it, and it was like I was watching it going like. What the fuck is going on? Because, like, he introduced Otto's parents. Otto. Otto. He introduced uh, Wambi- the Wambiers. W- Wambier, yeah. He talked about, like, how bad North Korea is and how they're going to go down and blah, blah, blah. And then just kind of moved on. He didn't say they were going to do anything. He just took a mention 
to say North Korea is bad. No, he used it to segue it to strengthen the military. I think. I think that was the point he was saying is that we have to strengthen the military, and this is this is the guy we're dealing with. No, I think that was more of a military tie. I mean, we could take North Korea out right now if we wanted to. But I, I think he's just still making the point of how important the military is and the, and the strength. I, I just think that was how he got into military. Was a half room applause. Uh, it was, yeah, right. and it's like I, you know, which is he, he, I, I, By the way, people who say the Democrats don't care about America, stop it. Who said that? A lot of people are going the Democrats. The Dems don't like America. Shut up. They do. Yeah. They just, their vision of it is different than his. Did you hear at one point? Christ. At one point in the State of the Union, they were actually chanting USA, USA. I hate that chant. I mean, you work in the government. Don't chant USA. You don't need and, it. And, and, and you're in the Capitol. Yeah, like, you're what there. Are you, what are you chanting USA for? It's like, go team. I mean, I guess so. He was. Uh, Did they do the wave? They did not do the wave, but it would have been appropriate if they chanted the USA, right? Yeah. They did. Uh, I, I'm coming back. I think that. Don't, you don't have to announce that, though. Just yeah, you let just it do happen it. organically. You just, let it, you just do it. Um, it was. I like that he brought up infrastructure and he was uh, talking Fuck about. Fuck yeah, 10 years to get a permit to fix a road or something? Yeah. yeah. He's going to bring back glistening roads. So that's good. Nice, shiny roads. Yeah, I got a nice, shiny road. Yeah, glass. <laughs> it's good roads stuff. made of glass. Yeah. You don't want to drive when the, at like uh, high noon, the sun's going to reflect I nastily. Certainly will. Nastily. But, but he's right. The infrastructure blows half the time. And it's like so much red tape to cut through. They've dropped more regulations than anybody. It's like, just get to it. Yeah. Fucking build a road. Yeah. How hard is it? And uh, Start paving, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, the beautiful, clean... Coal, the sexy, beautiful coal. The, beautiful. the war on it. The, the the war on sexy, luscious coal. It's like yeah. the descriptives. You can tell when he goes off script. When he described the auto workers of America as beautiful, I was like, okay, nobody wrote beautiful in there for him. Yeah, how about you keep the prices affordable and people will buy the cars? Beautiful auto workers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I think cars right now are uh, affordable. Like, I mean, you can get decent cars. Like a Kia Sportage, you can get that for like fifteen thousand dollars, and it's a decent car, you know. So I think the car, I think they're doing well the car business right now. I'm just, I mean, I drive a Beamer, so you're gonna pay. You got it on eBay, right? Oh, look at some old references, Jesus! No, I didn't get it on eBay, <laughs> and I don't even test drive my cars. I go in, I go that one. They go, do you want to test drive it? I go, why would I? It's a, it's a BMW. I know how it's going to ride. It's irresponsible. No, it certainly it's is. It's not impressive. Yeah. I, no. yeah, it's not. It's not. It's it, just to go give me it. Yeah, that's I go in, I, stupid. No, no. You think it's a dumb thing to do? It's it's arguably the dumbest thing <laughs> that will be said on this channel for a month. No. I, I I always test drive. You have to, of not, course. Even like I, even if I was like, okay, I've owned two Jeep Wranglers. If I go in and get a third one for, for you know, uh, in any time soon. I'm going to test drive it. You always do just to make sure that you're not buying one that's got like a problem with the steering or, well, or there's no problem with it. As the years go the models on, models change a little models bit. Models change. Cars drive differently. I ch I, ch I always test drive. Well, Troy, would you test drive? I love drive a good test drive. Car? Of course I would. <laughs> dude, I love a good test that's drive. That's you guys are. I'm, I'm on a tight schedule. So I run in. I get what do you got car. going on? Uh, <laughs> what, what, what time of the day? Yeah, right. <laughs> um... Somebody's pointing something out here. What? Samantha, good point. What's up, Samantha? Hey. You want to talk to Letterman, Sammy? What? Samantha, what's you're on. With, what's up with Sam being anti-Trump? What are you doing? Okay, I've what? noticed that. What? Yeah, <laughs> I have. I, have so I want to thank all you guys for helping out and not just piling on to <laughs> Samantha's... Uh, uh, well, when you're right, you're right. Yeah. Samantha, what what like, what his is little, his little glistening rose and that? Not, Ooh, what mm -hmm. does freaking Obama do for you? Tell me. That's right, right Samantha. Dad, Dad, Samantha, answer Samantha. Samantha, do you think it's tell me what he did? Do, tell him who's talking about Obama. Do you think it's funny? Do you think because if why you because you're only talking about Trump? Because he's the one who gave the State of the Union. Yep. Yes, he's, he he's the president. Exactly. Did you why? ever talk about President Obama? No, nope, he never did. No. Nope. On the air? Nope. Yes, of course I did. <laughs> never. Did you really? Nope. Yes. No. He's, he's lying. Did you insult the way he speaks? Never. He if he about? sounded like an idiot, I would. If he's talking about yeah, beautiful auto workers and shiny roads, yeah. Okay, shiny roads. Right, exactly. He, the said, only you're doing it. he said glistening roads. Is that not a dumb thing to say? That's not funny? Yeah. Samantha? You know what? You're looking, you're picking up the wrong thing. Yep. Oh. That's right. Go ahead, Samantha, <laughs> tell him. I'm picking up the wrong thing. Tell him and Sammy. Go ahead. I see. So what should I be picking up? 
you listen, first of all, look at what's going on and what the policies are and stop making fun of how the man speaks. Ooh. You're right, because this is a policy-driven show. <laughs> and I, I well, agree. Yeah, this yeah, is exactly. this is not, nobody, nobody. And I, re I respect that. I Ooh. do. Nobody tunes into this radio show to hear people being made fun no. of for how they speak. I, That's I, why you know, Voss, you know, Voss, Voss is here for policy. Voss is here. Make us laugh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I agree with her. If you're going to you attack, her, her? Of course if I agree with attack her. With how somebody speaks, uh -huh. it's not how they speak. It's the message they carry. <laughs> okay? That's true, Voss. Thank you, Rich. Okay. No problem. Samantha, you're not wrong. Yep, no. Samantha, mm -hmm. you always know you got a strong arg argument when Rich Voss is on your I side. I don't try to fucking act like you're superior over me, pal. I know politics. I... <laughs> You're right. No, I know you do. You know? I know you do. Obviously, Look, uh... I think you guys are great. I just wanted to say that. <laughs> no, All right, great. Samantha. Thank you very much. Yeah. I have to deal with the others. All right, thank you. 8.30? Yeah. <laughs> 8.30, you have an essay to read to figure out what clips you got to play. <laughs> so I'm good, man. Time's flying. Is it? No, we just got this list of sound clips. Yeah. Now I'm looking at it. They're kind of not spaced out or... Can't figure out which is what thing. Hmm. Highlights from the. You want to play? Uh, How come we're getting this now? It's busy. Okay. It's, bu it's a busy morning. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do we need. I, I don't know if we need Trump highlights. We've just talked about it, but. Uh, yeah, but it's an important thing. Mm. You think so, Travis? The State of the Union? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I totally I, I definitely, th I definitely think it. Yeah, if he, if he didn't come to the table with. Audio from the State of the Union, that'd be insane. I'm, I'm not mad at that. I'm saying, oh, yeah. I, we just talked about it. I'm not, I'm not saying yeah. that he shouldn't have. I'm saying we, we just talked about it, so I don't know if we're going to play Did it. Did he give a Super Bowl pick? No, we're not. Um, no, Trump. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, no, Trump. Sam did. Sam did before the show say I don't want to play any Trump audio. He said nothing positive about yeah. Trump. Sam's on CNN.com saying they're right. They're right. I would. Yeah, I, can I, we uh, just play the Democratic response, please? Did you see him by the way? Yeah, glossy lips. <laughs> I wanted to kiss him right on his mouth. Which one's that, Joe Kennedy? Joe Kennedy. Although was he drooling? I think it, I think he was just poorly applied chapstick. Although I'm sure Samantha is listening right now, going, "Why are they talking about his chapstick instead of his policies?" No, she's happy that you're going after a. Dem. Oh, weird. You mean there's there's a there's a bias, huh? He, he slams he, bullies. Stop talking. Everyone, no, everyone's not a bully. You fucking idiot. I watched that. Kennedy. You guys are. Guy's the worst. This guy. I watched that Kennedy response and Kennedy and uh, number one, his lip gloss was. So distracting. I think it was drool. Uh, it could have been drool. You think he was just foming at the he, mouth? He to get looked on the like air? when when he's a dribbling uh, idiot. Wants old cum. Fuck yeah, <laughs> it does. It's old cum. <laughs> and uh, that's, that's Trump the, kiss. The response that he gave, like as I was watching his speech, it sounded like he was giving a response to what he thought would be the State of the Union instead of what the State of the Union actually was. Well, yeah, because uh, the the transcripts are released ahead of time. So you would think that he would read the transcripts and respond directly to what Trump said in the State of the Union. Yeah, because there were quotes from his speech released while the State of the Union was right. still going on. But they didn't. It didn't. It didn't feel like yeah. he was connecting to the State of the Union. It felt like he was just like, oh, let me just respond to why people don't like. Trump. He is a slobber-mouthed idiot. And yeah, and he's slobbering all over the place. I Whose could, kid is he? Uh, Which I, kid is he? Robert Kennedy's son or whose son uh, is he? He is a descendant of RFK, I think. Grandson. Grandson. Joe Kennedy. Is there... There's they all have that same fucking hairdo, man. Well, yeah, I think there might be some inbreeding in the Kennedy family. You think? Yeah, just to keep it all, like, you know, they keep have, all the DNA together. They have good heads of hair. That's what... It's exactly yeah, what Yeah, but they're they progressively do. less attractive. Well, yeah, that's what, that's what inbreeding does. Joe Kennedy's not bad, though. He's okay. Yeah, but he's, he's no JFK. Oh, who is? Who's the one that's that true. just uh, wrote the book, Got Sober? What Kennedy's that? Don't know. I don't know. The I'm one that we sure. had in the studio. Yeah, that was Robert's son, Robert yeah. Jr. Oh. Um, well, yeah, I mean, JFK is not going to The one show who was up. talking to us, sorry about the JFK conspiracy <laughs> and how he believes in it, and then E-Rock walked in and went, one minute! <laughs> <laughs> do you think that was poor timing? I, it's literally, it, it, it could be the worst thing I've ever seen anybody do. The son of Robert Kennedy is talking about the Kennedy conspiracy. You'll probably have another chance to have that conversation. I don't know, Travis, it has not arisen. <laughs> One minute! <laughs> <laughs> and loudly announcing it like he was in charge. Oh, better go then. <laughs> Iraq. But Joe Kennedy, uh, JFK never showed up to a speech looking like he just ate uh, a mouthful of Vaseline. No, he did not. You know what I mean? He wouldn't yeah. have done that. He did not look, he did not, uh, you know, I, I don't know. His, his lips look like Trump's roads. Glistening. <laughs> 
Hey, did anybody see uh, Kimmel because he had Stormy Daniels on? I did. I hear she was very slippery. It wasn't just, I mean, she was nothing. There was no slippery to it. it but was not like, answering his. Right. It was like you interviewing a brick wall. She wouldn't give anything. Yeah, I didn't even know why. I don't know why Kimmel booked her. I don't he's know trying why to she get was on I mean, the show. It was, he was obviously trying to get... I get, I get why you would try it. Like, you got to try. Well, if you do it... I mean, look, it's one thing if we do this ridiculous radio show, we would try it. But if you're doing uh, the, one of these late night shows that are now highly competitive and trying to get this to have Stormy Daniels on your show and kind of know that you're not going to get anything out of her because you have to know in advance. You well, have to know in advance. From the pre-interview. From the pre-interview. No, right. you have to know in advance... But the uh, the reality is, uh, you got to try, you got to try it. Because who's Fallon having on that's interesting or or Colbert compared to he the looks woman? Like, Kimmel looks like an idiot today. Does he look bad? Yeah, because I mean, anybody like it was it was a it was a bad segment. Let's go to the first one. Uh, Stormy does not give. Uh, yeah, let's go to the first clip. I know you either do or don't have a non disclosure agreement, which. If you didn't have a non-disclosure agreement, do you have a non-disclosure agreement? Do I? You can't say whether you have a non-disclosure agreement, but if you didn't have a non-disclosure agreement, you most certainly could say, I don't have a non-disclosure agreement. Yes? You're so smart, Jimmy. Thank you very much. Right there, she can just confirm she has a non-disclosure. She does have a non-disclosure agreement. I mean, that's, she confirmed it. Yeah. Um, Because you know what it is, don't forget, Tiger Woods sued and got a lot of money back from Rachel Yucatel. So I think people are being a little bit more careful now with this stuff because she broke the non-disclosure by going on that sex celebrity rehab, whatever the fuck it was, or celebrity, whatever the celebrity rehab thing she did. Yeah. And that, and he sued and got money back. So I think people are a little more worried, like not with the sexual stuff, like the abuse stuff, like Michaela Maroney. I but mean, this shit, like, uh, he may. The interview started with... Kimmel talking about her statement that was released saying that she did not have any affair with the, with Trump. And then it was kind of implied that she didn't sign it. But she didn't actually say, she was like, oh, I wonder where it was from. He was like, well, was it from you? And she was like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, like, it might have been a waste of time to have her on. I just want to talk about my other project. Yeah, it was a total waste did of time. Did she say that? Or no, no, but Thank I mean, God. Like, why, uh, that's why you're here. Yeah. And this yeah. is, like, this is... Highly competitive late night television. This is not like. Was she the lead guest? She was a high, heavily advertised guest. I don't know if she came on first, but yeah, that well, was. They, and well, they tape these shows. He's live. Oh, he went live. Yeah. Okay, he's probably. always live. It's Jimmy Kimmel live. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize he, he does go out live. I'm so stupid. I thought he, he goes was, out live. Yeah, uh, East Coast time. So it's like eight or whatever on the West Coast. But I did, not, I did not realize he went out live. Jimmy Kimmel live, but I didn't know that that was actually meant he went live. I've yeah, done the he, show too. I did sit <laughs> 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 I did it years ago. I had no idea I was alive. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go to the next one about uh, he retells. Uh, we don't need him retelling the story. Oh, we only have the only clip we have. Uh, all right, let's just do the one more clip we have. You were at a golf tournament, Lake Tahoe. You noticed Trump looking at you on the course. He approached you in the gift room. He asked for your number, asked you to have dinner with him. You told him you would meet him in his room. He asked you to meet him in his room. You assumed you'd be going out to dinner. When you got there, he was in pajama pants. He asked you a lot of questions about the business side of the adult film industry. I thought this industry. was a talk show, not a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> this is a whole different pay scale. <laughs> he told you you were very smart, which seems to be true, and you should be on The Apprentice. You said, no, you're not going to be able to get me on The Apprentice. He said, I can get you on The Apprentice. Um, you engaged in textbook generic sex. He did not use protection. Afterwards, Pause, she please. told me you want to see Pause. and ask. Standing ovation for that's, the Donald. That's your State of the Union standing O. Fucking A. <laughs> USA. Guy's worth four USA. billion dollars. USA. Four USA. billion dollars, and he's deep dicking porn girls with no bag. <laughs> Round of applause for the fucking <laughs> commander in chief. <laughs> I respect that. That's a huge gamble. <laughs> that's a four billion dollar fucking roll of the dice. <laughs> Action. Afterwards, he told you he wanted to see you again and asked you to sign a copy of one of your DVDs. Well, he does have good taste, I guess. <laughs> he kept calling you for months after that. You had dinner with him at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Um, while you were there, he was watching Shark Week. <laughs> this detail is so, like, I mean, if they did make this up... Everyone loves Shark Week. That's not even... Admit it. You're like right. Shark you're right. You said he's obsessed with and terrified of sharks. Which Aren't we all? 
Well, not all, not necessarily obsessed with, but yes, most of us are scared of sharks. And that night, he told you he couldn't get you on the Celebrity Apprentice. Is any of that? He true? said I couldn't. He couldn't get her on. Define true. <laughs> I mean, oh. I watched the whole. Yeah, it's your, interview. No, did she say right now? Did, did he say he couldn't get her on? Yeah, yeah. NBC probably said no to a porn person, right? Of course. Yeah. Yeah, no, she's not a celebrity. You got to have fucking confidence too to fuck a porn star, to follow who they fucked before. Yeah, I mean, I've I've had sex with a couple, not not a lot in my life, considering how many I've been around, and and you know, it's kind of, it is a little intimidating, but it's also yeah. super fun. Have you ever made a porn star come? Did I when I went down on her? Maybe going by going down on. Uh, yes, actually, but going, just, just from oral sex, not from fucking. Yeah. You weren't scared, like intimidated at all. Fucking one of them. Um, I mean, you got a nice hog. So, thanks. You know, uh, but you're not. There's got to be a little intimidation. No, one I was seeing kind of regularly, and and one I was uh, only saw once, but it was nice. Yeah, it was very loving. Really, mm -hmm. it's impressive. Thank you. Fucking impressed by that. Yeah, those are the female <laughs> porn stars. <laughs> oh no, no, I'm not impressed. <laughs> but do you see? Like, I mean, it was a 12 minute segment. Yeah, that yeah, just yeah. Went this on went and on she on on. said nothing. Like, he was basically reading news articles that we've all read. Like, because she wouldn't give him. Anything. There was zero new information. There was no reason yeah. to do it. Like, it, and it, and I get why he it did it, but it, it didn't, didn't go make anywhere. Trump look bad. Right. It made him look bad. It made it made Kimmel look like he was just hungry to make Trump look bad. He's just like another one of these like. CNN, you know, media people, they're just grasping at straws to try to do whatever they can to make Trump look bad when all they have to do is just sit back and let the guy do it himself. You think Scott Baio was trying to hire Trump's fucking non disclosure lawyer? <laughs> Holy shit. Did you see Nicole Eggert? That was a fucking bad segment, man. Yeah. Yeah. We talk about that. I, I kind of believe her, but I don't know. I, there's no proof. You'll never get proof. No, I don't think so. You no, know, which is he said, she said. There's never going to be any proof. Gus in Houston has a very good point on line five. Uh, yes, uh, Gus. Hey, good morning, guys. How are you? Hey, so I, I, I just wanted to kind of Jimmy's address sometimes the depth of the well sometimes with the rich boss. Yeah. When talking about the American car industry, your examples were the Kia Sportage and BMW. Well, they're not from America. They're Korean. And one's uh, no, he's German. He's right to point that out. We were talking about the American auto industry, and you no, did bring up Kia. And that's true. No, I know it's a Korean car. I know that, but it didn't I'm apply saying, to what we were talking. Thank about. Thank you, Gus. Gus was right on thank that you, one. Sir. Thank Gus, you, Thank you. Gus did a good job. Good investigating. Well, he was right. Where are you going? He yeah, quit. Oh, he's got to get his eye drops. Um, yeah, he's yeah, right. Yeah. No, what I'm but just saying. See, yeah. What I'm saying is being sold in America. Yes. You're still getting good deals on on certain cars, but they want manufacturing but, to be in America. But here's also too: when you're buying a Kia Sportage, mm -hmm. Chevy, Ford, whatever, are making the, the comparable car to every car. They all they all have the the twenty thousand dollar car, the thirty thousand dollar. What car. happened, Troy? Uh, are, you, are you okay? What's happening, Troy? I think Jim just crop dusted us. Oh, Jim, did you maybe do that by mistake? By mistake, I did. Sometimes when you walk, it slips out by mistake. Sometimes when I'm holding one in, I, my cheeks move it open. It comes <laughs> well, out. Is that a whoops to daisies Yes, it was. Oh, so they all have, they all have so sweet. I apologize. Oh, yeah, there it is. I smell it. That's a bad I'm one. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's no good. That's no good. I wish, you'd, I wish you hadn't gotten your I eye really drops. did eat my eye drops. My eyes are redder today even. Dr. Steve said I guess they're going to get worse before they get better. Why? But... What, do you have an allergy? No, just from getting from vomiting when I was away, and it just my vessels burst, like when you really intensely puke. It Where happens. were you? Where did you vomit? I was, I was just on the road, and I just got sick. The night uh, is always darkest before the dawn. That's what Dr. Steve always says about eyes. Yeah, night's <laughs> always darkest before the dawn. You want to go to Gary on line three? It depends. What's he going to talk about? Oh, yeah. No, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, <all right. laughs> Hi, Gary. Hey, yo. What's up? Hey, buddy. Well, I don't understand what this Letterman Sammy is. <laughs> uh, I think he's the most professional, middle-of-the-road, call-like-it-is broadcaster of all time. Thank I think you. that's a bit of a, a Thank bit you. of a <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, Ed. Yeah, because look, Sam, you're the undisputed supreme leader of the alt left. You think he <laughs> certainly is. Are you are you are you putting me in the camp of Antifa now? Yeah. I'm not I'm not an Antifa supporter. Your they want you to go out there and represent them. I'm not an Antifa supporter. Not far from it. I'm pretty That's right. far. I, I, you're not wrong, Troy. Yeah. I'm pretty far from Antifa. Thank you very much, Gary. Excellent point. Let him in, Sammy. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Why so stoic, Rich? I don't like when people badmouth him because you, I've done a lot of radio throughout the country, and this man holds his own. That's he's right. intelligent. Mm-hmm. He's quick, semi funny. He does. He does what okay. he's supposed to do. Your here. rings are enraging. My what? Your rings are still on. Oh yeah. What I'm I saying, think they look good. The rings. I'm getting another one today. Good. That's my, are you really? I might. I don't know. Four, what are you gonna get? Yeah, something right here. You know what it. happens after a while, like when you're getting older, and I'm getting older too. You, you're making decent money. Mm-hmm. And you're like, I just want to buy some. Sh- just you would just try stuff. My money's coming to an end right now, though. Why? No uh, gigs. W- the summer looks slow. Summer looks slow. I didn't. I didn't jump on top of the summer, so it's getting late. I don't know how much I, for the summer either. Yet. I, I I can't follow. I'd go on the road with Voss, but I wouldn't be able to pay him what he what he's supposed to get. And I also would be you know, where we're following him. You could follow. You follow me at the uh, at the Patrice Benefit. That's different. Bob Levy used to tell me, "Dude, let me work with you on that." I'm like, "You out of your fuck? I'm not going after Levy. <laughs> Fucking murders." Yeah. He he's does. I, I, please listen. I'd follow Bob at a twenty-minute set in the cellar. Like any, I'll go on after anybody who's doing yeah. twenty, and I don't care how hard you well, kill. I, but on the road, it's a little different. Yeah. I, first of all, I I don't care if I you know you. Uh, I would just do it like once or twice only because it would be fun with your fan yeah, base. Right, yeah. It would be fun, and of course, I'm going to lay down a little, you know, and not come out and try to kill. I you know. want you to do what you do. Yeah, and I would. Uh, <laughs> but you can easily follow me because, you know, I'm doing more thinkable, clever stuff, and you're just doing, you know, AIDS material. So, you know gotcha. what I mean? That you're more, true. You're more of a thinking man's comic? Now I am. I see. I used to be, I mean, crowd work, I could do crowd work for an hour, but right. it's, yeah. I'm bored with it. It's easy. Yeah. I kind of pass the torch to other guys. Who, you, who have you passed the torch to? Yeah, oh. Big J. I see. And he's great at it. He's great. Big fucking J is great at crowd work. You need to add in that F word. Yeah, there's no need to. Mm -mm. Yeah, crowd work work is not hard to do. I was just sticking up for you, remember? Jay is very funny. Jay is very funny at it. That's why Jay is really good at it. He's fucking great. And and he's unique with it, too. He he doesn't ask the same old questions. Jay goes out and asks. He's, He's funny. I think you should get another ring today. Yeah. It might. It depends how I feel. Well, here's what you want. I don't want, like... You say business is slow, but when you get on that stage and you grab that microphone it's and you got some, you got some diamonds. He doesn't on your grab fingers. it. His hand will wrap around. He has to oh, velcro. Really? <laughs> he velcros the mic and he has to just pick it up like that and hold it. He just kind of palms the mic like a little yeah. baby, yeah, like, like a little tiny baby. little baby. Hands. Yeah, like when Trump drinks water, he has yeah. to. I see. By the way. There were a couple times, I'm sure of it, that Trump went for water in that speech and the feed that I was watching. I was watching the YouTube feed of it, and I'm sure that they cut away and let him drink his water because I was listening to him and multiple occasions he was drying up. I, I watched him uh, point at the water originally, but I didn't see them cut away. I watched the Fox feed, mm-hmm. the CNN feed. It was probably all the same feed. Uh, do you want to get back to on stage with the rings? Mm-mm. Well, you were starting a conversation. Oh, what were you saying? Yeah, I, no, just that the people like to see the rings. that they, they And then that's when they know... You're business, a, business is good. You're a headliner. You're a headliner. That's when they know because you want to show your well. You want you right. want you want people to right. know you're doing well and you belong up there third, right or last. You know, yeah. You okay. want to show your wealth off to people. You Not want to be too. walking around and and let people know through your physical things that financially you're in a very good place. <laughs> Thank right? you. I, th- I try to bring my car on stage. <laughs> Is it <laughs> Liberace? <laughs> yeah, no, you might as well. <laughs> 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 fucking eat Scott Thorson's ass and try to fucking <laughs> try your car on stage. <laughs> that is a gay guy thing to do, though. Like, because uh, uh, Rob Halford would ride his motorcycle out during one of the... Uh, I, I forget what song Halford would ride the motorcycle out. Do you, do, have you ever seen Priest Live, Troy? Yeah, I definitely <laughs> seen him do that. <clears throat> I'm sure there's straight guys that do it, but I can only think of him and Liberace, who drove a vehicle on stage. Yeah. Said, but I don't know if I t- said this last week, but... Just well, such a showy thing to do. Yeah, yeah. It, that's exactly what it is. The Undertaker used to drive his motorcycle. Oh, that's true, when he was the American badass. And he was definitely straight, because he was coming out to Limp Bizkit. Didn't Meatloaf meat <laughs> drive a motorcycle out? He drove a motorcycle in uh, Rocky Horror Picture Rocky Show. Horror. There's Rocky something Horror. cool about him doing it, like, just because you're at a show. But a guy just riding a motorcycle on, it's so staged. Although, Stone Cold used to drive a four-wheeler to the ring, and that was bad the fucking ass. Yeah, yeah. he went around and around the ring. He's yeah. not, Stone Cold is not gay. No, no. He's no. the coolest person ever. Ozzy? Come on. Oh, it's fucking Mick Jacker goes up with a uh, Segway now. I don't mind that one. You could use one of those yourself. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, speaking of 
Speaking of old men, did you see uh <laughs> your guest? My guest? Oh, you. Voice? Okay, all right, all right. You're not old, you're older. You're an older guy, for sure. I'm old. Yeah. How old are you? Huh? <laughs> well, look, when you take your shirt off, you can't tell you're old. I'm 60. 60? With yeah. a body like that? Yeah. Holy you shit. You do look great for 60. Oh, yeah. We'll probably see. We'll see. Not today. Later. I guarantee Come on, you. Let's Janice see some I can't even on. tell you the fight I had oh. last week. Well, it's not going to happen. I'll talk to you about it. Before we get there, because I, I want to hear, hear all about that. But uh, I do want to. I, I want. Did you see who the designated survivor was? I did, yes. The agriculture secretary. Ed Asner, yeah. Let me see what he looks like. He doesn't exactly, uh, Travis. Yeah. When they released a photo of the desi uh, the actual designated survivor, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, Troy actually looked up Ed Asner. <laughs> I don't know who the designated survivor. Oh, Troy. Well, Ed Asner wasn't the actual. <laughs> they didn't he looked like him. <laughs> How great would it be if they actually just put Ed, Ed Asner, Asner uh, in a room? He, did he die? I don't know. I think he might. Ed have. Asner? No, yeah. he's still, no, he's still he, alive. I love that yeah. Asner, and he's very, very political. Very. He's very liberal, yeah. So he would have been oh, a good boy, designated yeah. survivor then. How, uh, Travis, how I, bummed were you when the, when the paper was like, here's a photo of the new designated survivor, and you were I like, I, I can't wait for a handsome, what? Yeah. That's Dennis Hoff. He looks Hoff. nothing like Keith. Dennis Hoff. Yeah, he does look like years. Dennis Hoff. Yep, Dennis Hoff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they just picked an old man, the agriculture secretary, Sonny Perdue. Oh. So we we could have, if something uh, horrible and tragic had happened to that room last President night. President Perdue? We would have had President <laughs> Sonny Perdue. That is a genius thing, though. When you, I never knew there was a designated survivor, and it's actually a really cool thing to make a TV show about. The designated survivor. Where does he stay when he does? I guess he's in a room protected. Nobody knows. Nobody oh, knows. Oh, they don't know. Okay. Probably in that little room that on... Uh, it's so you can't wipe out the entire government. Of course. Probably in that little room that on Homeland, the... Uh, uh, oh, the one Brody, that Damian Lewis Brody, went into Brody with the bomb. Brody was able to sneak oh, an explosive vest into. Did you find that to be believable? Thanks. But he did it in the bathroom stall, so oh, people wouldn't know. Oh, good. Whew. Yeah. And then he fucking, uh, then they realized he had a bomb belt on around the vice president, but then they still left him in the office. Right. Yeah, God yeah. almighty. They then his kid called and everything worked out. Oh, yeah. Dad! <laughs> a lot of belief to be suspended. Dude, in that show, that show, <laughs> show could have been really good, too, and it, that's why I hated it. The Showtime medals. They do it every time, Showtime. Yep. Like, they have some really great concepts. <laughs> like, you don't have to cartoon everything. I they get they it. They did it with Dexter. They did it with Homeland. <laughs> they don't let their creative people just be creative. Mm. The Shy is good. What's that? That got the, renewed. The new Showtime show. Back oh, Chicago. Yeah. And Dice. Dice got canceled. Dice got canceled. I didn't see I only saw a little of season one, and I really loved it. I saw all of season one. I didn't realize season two came out. I didn't either. But they didn't promote it. They said it was the lowest rated one of the year. But I'm guaranteeing it's because they didn't promote it. They didn't promote it at all. They didn't promote Dice's show at all. Mm -mm. And he was doing 191000 a week, I want, I think, in season one. And then I think season two was 141000 But again, there's no promotion there. And fucking mm -mm. Uh, Natasha's great. She's great. And Dice is a fucking great actor. Yeah. Dice is probably the best acting comedian, unless you want to go like with Robin. Williams or guys that want like Michael Keaton, Jamie Foxx. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But but Dice is fucking yeah, he's an great. excellent actor. He was fucking uh, great on uh, the he was great in vinyl. No, no, in vinyl. That fucking yeah. first episode was amazing. He drove Scorsese and, nuts. And he did. Did he? Yes, of course he did. What do you do? Just drop, just being Dice, <laughs> bugging him. That first episode was good until the end when the building falls down on the guy and he's like, oh yeah. This, and then I watched the entire season. I didn't see. I only saw two episodes. Yeah, I mean, I liked it, but it, it I liked it almost like... That's, kind of obvious. It, it wasn't a true though. story. That was the dolls playing. It was, it was clearly not a true story. Yeah. Like, it, 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 the show completely fell apart. The acting was great, though. Everyone in it was like... Yes. like uh, Ray uh, Ray is great, man. Yeah. He's a uh, Ray Romano is a really oh, good yeah, actor. Yeah. He's good in everything now. He's getting like all these... He's in the new Scorsese movie, too, with... Uh, uh, with Pacino and De Niro. He's he, got, did, he did the Parenthood on NBC. I think that was his first big... Drama thing that men, was, was it men of a certain age or no? Yeah, it was men of a certain age. I don't think he did Parenthood. He definitely did Parenthood. Did he? Yep. He did. What's men of his a name? Age. Was in. Uh, I got to see the fucking rents. vinyl. Was great. The guy that was. <laughs> what's his that. name? Bobby Cannavale. How he, he <laughs> how is he not like a leading guy in a big movie? He well he's but he's, he does a lot of films with people like he's he's in um, the Woody Allen he, movie. Yeah, but he's also in this new one. He's in the Irish. He's in I Tanya. Yeah. yeah, he's in I Tanya. Oh, I, I didn't see, see I didn't see his see part him. yet. I can't get through a it's, movie. It's a small part. You yeah. can't get through that movie. No, no, no. I, but I'm watching movies so slow oh, now. Oh, okay. But Why are you watching them slow? I just dude, I, I I have a little bit of time. A lot of times, my days are crazy. I I just uh, just a mover and a shake. Just Hollywood Jim yeah. Norton. 
Yeah. I don't have five minutes to myself to just get naked and do characters in my apartment. <laughs> I, I, that's a good point. I do have that. But no, I don't have that 90 minutes to just sit there because I'm always, I guess the computer distracts me. Yeah. What about like, that night that you fall asleep in bed? Don't you I don't have a that? TV in my room for that reason. I, I won't oh. put a TV in my room because I can't sleep with it. But uh, Cannavale is fun. The first time I saw him like really act, act was in, uh, I saw him in Chris Rock's play, The Motherfucker in the Hat. It was great. And that's how I knew Chris was a good actor. Because he was standing there on stage. I'm like, with, with Bobby, I'm like, fuck, man. Chris is really holding his own. You know, it, with, yeah. with Bobby, who's like, yeah, amazing. Glenn Gary, amazing. Glenn Ross, he was in Bobby. On, uh, I didn't see it, though, of course, because I overslept. Boardwalk. Boardwalk Empire was he tremendous. He was fucking so good in that because you hated his character. You couldn't wait for his character to die. Yeah. And he, and he had a great yeah. ass in that. Not, I'm not saying that, uh, yeah. you know. So I, I saw his wiener, too, on that. They showed his hog. They showed his they? Yes, they Let's did. Let's try to find it. <laughs> no, we don't, but, but he's uh, I forget who that. he's playing in the Irishman. He was originally supposed to play <laughs> He's uh, listed as Joe Gallo. Yes, but he's not Joe Gallo. What? He's not Joe Gallo. Joe Holy Gallo the shit. lawyer? Uh no, Joe Gallo the mob guy who was murdered from Philly. In Philly, yeah. He was a big big Philly mobster. M murdered at, at at a country club. Was I'm it a country sure. club or was it in Umberto's who got oh who got killed in Umberto's clan house? Well, that was that was Fucking Eppolito was on stage at Pips when that happened. Oh, that's Chips Cooney. Yeah. Don Eppolito. He was on stage, and they hear gunshots, and all these people ran out. There was a fucking murder like two doors down. Wait, Umberto's is in Manhattan. No, no. What's the one on in Brooklyn? There was a murder at the uh, right next to Pips when he was on stage. I do uh, not know. Okay, but... Okay, look it up. There was one guy murdered at a country club in South Jersey. Okay. He was a Philly mob boss. And I'm not sure. Can we see? I do want to check, Troy. Where was uh, Joey Gallo killed? I want to say Umberto's Clam House. You know, this, the location they have now. So I love Joe Beningo so much, and he would always promote it. Umberto's Clam House! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And that made me go. We used to go there. We did, yeah. But that was the new location. Manhattan. Yeah, yeah, yeah but was Joe Gallo killed there? In Manhattan, it says. Where was he killed? Manhattan. Prison, murder, murder. Umberto's uh, Clamhouse. It was okay. him. Okay. In we'll find out who was killed. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, no, I was just curious. Uh, he's from Philly, though, right? He's a Philly guy, yeah. He was a Philly guy. Oh. Uh, he, he looked crazy. Too bad he passed away. He'd probably be excited about his Eagles this weekend, am I right? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. He died in 72. Man, he looked like a fucking problem, too. Jesus oh, Christ. My God. He looked like he did not fuck around. He's a big man. Yeah. He jaw on him. He, he has a very, very... Solid, unforgiving face. Yeah. I was in Staten Island. When we were young, we were in Staten Island for some reason. I'm in a store. And Before this guy comedy, had, you mean? Was, yeah, years ago. Me and my friends, we just went out to Staten Island to visit somebody. So this guy, is in, you could tell he's some like young gangster. Kill. I just go, I, we're standing by the counter. I go, how's it going? He goes, you don't fucking know me. And he was ready to fucking beat the hell out. His girlfriend had to stop him. The guy would have killed me. And he, you could tell he was like one of these connected guys from Staten. All I do is go, how you doing? You don't fucking know me. But were you, like, right. were you like, how you doing? Yeah. Oh, I was scared to death. How old were you? Were you trying to be cool, like a cool guy talking to the Staten Island mobster? How, you, how, how no. you doing? Foster thought he'd be looked at as an equal, like a fellow gangster, street tough. Oh, yeah. how you doing? Well, hey, how, how you doing? doing? How I'm you from doing? Jersey. I let a guy suck my dick in short shorts for <laughs> a fucking, <laughs> for a huff of uh, glue. How you doing? <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> It was scary. That is scary. How old you, like 16? No, it was probably like 20, 21. Were you embarrassed? I was scared to death. Was he older than you? He was fucking built like an out. Oh, he's probably roid rage. Huh? He's a dick for yelling at you for saying yeah, hello. He shouldn't yeah. have. You were just being polite. I was being polite. You're I'm being a nice guy. That's what I do. Just trying to be friendly, meet people. But yeah, you never know out in Staten Island. You could have taken him. Now I could. Yeah, you with could. With all the MMA I've watched. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Staten Island is, uh, I guess, a hotbed of that activity. Yeah. Toad Hill Road is where Paul Castellano lived. Yeah. Is it still a hotbed? I don't know if it is anymore, but I mean, I, I know some of the guys would, would do it. You can't fuck around Staten Island. Well, Levy almost got, when he was working in Brooklyn. There tickles. Was a, tickles. Remember? They were really going to kill him. Yeah, because Bob <laughs> tends to work the crowd harshly. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a guy in the audience he was fucking with that he shouldn't have been fucking with. The club owner said, listen, you can't kill him. And they would have easily took him in the back and beat the fuck out of him. Maybe mobsters shouldn't go to comedy shows. Yeah, but they don't. They don't look at themselves as unreasonable. I had a mobster at Dangerfields one time. It was like twelve people in the audience, and it was a weird show. And he told me, like, I think he was, uh, 
he was telling me he, he's actually nice. Like his guys were kind of heckling a little bit, but he was being friendly. And uh, he spoke with an Italian accent. And I forget what he said he did, I, I, but he had something to do with the stratosphere in Vegas. Yeah. I'm like, oh, he's a real guy. I'll tell you a great danger real story is when Norton. Norton was on, and he hated this girl. She was heckling this and that and whatever. It threw his set off, and he just stormed out of there. He trashed her into whatever. I'm on stage. Norton calls and goes, do me a favor. Put the phone by the mic. I don't know if you And he started calling the girl up. <laughs> oh, <cunt. A> cunt. <laughs> yeah. He cunt and this and that, and he bashed her one more time. Well, I get a call. Hey, listen, they don't want you to work danger fields anymore. I go, I wasn't the fucking one who <laughs> oh, did Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't get it. It's a blessing in disguise. <laughs> All right? But uh, it was so fucking... He was so I vaguely furious. remember that, yeah. He was so furious that he called back to to, to go at her one more time. That, that Was that 15 years ago? Oh, Lord, more, it's, that, more. it's probably about 20. I remember Norton used to... This is how obsessed with comedy he was. He was flying in from somewhere... And it was, uh, uh, Eric would, McMahon would have a Super Bowl party every year. And I go, you going to the party? He goes, nah, I'm going to Dangerfields. I go, it's a Super Bowl, you're flying in. I fucking picked him up. We had to talk him into going to a Super Bowl party instead of doing oh, that I remember spot. that party at Eric's house, too. Yes, my daughters were in the car when we picked you up. My two little girls, because they were trashing you. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we went to the party. We all kind of fucked with that kid, Joe, or whatever his name was. And he commit suicide a year later. Do you remember the kid? Joe Del Duca? Yeah. Yeah, man. He said commit suicide, didn't he? Committed suicide. You said commit suicide. Whatever the fuck. You know what <laughs> my point. Okay. He said that, right? Okay, you okay. know what? That girl was right about you. So Samantha. Yes, yeah. she you was. You think so, Troy? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, Joe Del Duca. Do you think we had he was a bad gambler? Yeah, he was. No, we didn't have anything to do with his death. People commit suicide. It's it's it is what it is. Cause suicide. But you feel yes. bad the last time you see the guy, you're fucking around. Trash, no, I, I like Joe. Everybody so like Joe. He's a good guy. People just, you know, he, I think he, I forget what he did for a living, but I there's him, always other things there. I owed him 200. Did you? From yeah. We were in Vegas. It's not all bad news. No. Yeah. It's or 200, 100, right? Or 100 or 200. I felt bad. I felt bad for him. Yeah, yeah, he killed himself. That's yes. kind of a natural reaction. A lot of times, these guys who don't get what they want, like I, I know, th I can name three comedians who've committed suicide who just weren't getting what they wanted out of comedy. Get I can name two in three this room. Comedians, sure. yes. Who they, they, I believe me, I can tell you one who's going to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what what three comedians committed suicide? Uh, well, he did, and I'll write the other ones down just because. Okay, I don't know Robin families. Williams. Uh, well, yeah, but even though Robin and Jenny, those guys were getting what they wanted out of yeah. comedy. Mm. I mean, Jenny was probably getting fifty thousand a show. Um, I'm gu I'm guessing. I don't Let's want to see. say this guy's name because he's not. Uh, Jim Carrey is still alive, and actually, financially, he's doing very well. So that's incorrect. Yeah, just you know. Do you remember, remember him from Delaware? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah he's a nice guy. Call himself. I'm just, I'm just not saying his name because he's not a famous guy. The second right? one, you don't think we had anything to Nothing do with that? No, she was nice. I was. We were friends. Of course not. Oh, she had a, I mean, that person had a gambling problem. Yeah, we fucking, we had a, we had a th kind of a fun threesome with a girl we both knew. It was fun for us. I don't know yeah, about for her. her. too. She fucking, she was a comic. She knew who we were. It was, we goofed around. No one made her do anything. We had a good time with her. But I don't think anybody had sex with her. We didn't. We just played around and she was totally fine with it. I think we had fooled around with her before. Like, who cares? That, that's the time I dry heaved in the cat Yes, because you smelled cat shit. People aren't that delicate. Voss is very mean, though. No, I'm not. Not personally to people. Yeah, but Voss is charming, mean. Like he's mean. What? But he, but he, but people like he. He people like Rich. No, Bonnie. I like I, Rich. Bonnie. We were talking on our podcast yesterday, and Bonnie said a lot of people hate us. I go no. She goes, yeah, we're fucking both assholes. Some people, yeah, that, that she's not wrong. <laughs> well, Rich is Rich is charming, mean, but Bonnie is standoffish at times. Bonnie seems like she means it, and then you talk to her, and she's like, no, I'm, you know, I'm kidding. If you know Bonnie, it's different than when you don't know her, right? So, did you, you got into a fight with Bonnie about you taking your shirt off? Unless, well, it's, there's no, what, it's too early in the show to talk about it. Yes, I did. You did. Yes. Well, when did the fight start? You could call her now. Well, no, I just want to know from you. Oh. We have to take a break in, yeah. in a little bit. I know, not she's, yet. I know she's up now. Well, what what happened? What happened? I took my shirt off. And she goes, "How empty are you?" Right. That you have to do that mm -hmm. in, in studio. I go, "Well, we were all doing it that day." She goes, "You're an old man. Stop taking your fucking shirt off." Why did she, she? Huh? Why did she want you to stop taking your shirt yeah, off? Yeah, it so is much? silly. Yeah, you look good. No, I don't look good. What, bro? 
You look good. You look good. I know, but listen, <laughs> it's it's ridiculous. It's it's. It, What's wrong with that? Fucking good. <laughs> See, in a month, I'll do it again. In a month, I'm going to let's be do it today. And you're only as not happening today. I promise. Okay, I'll walk the fuck. It's not. I promise. So, it's so she today. says you're an old man. You look. She stupid. goes, what, 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 what do you lack inside of you? Right. That you a have dick. to do. That. <laughs> <laughs> call her. Give her. Get her point of view. Well, right. I, I, yeah, let's call her. Okay, might as well. Right, hang on. She probably won't answer the phone, but I hate fucking people so with what did cell you phones say? that don't answer. I know. Mean, what did you say in response? I to said that? we were all having fun. You know. Uh, did she feel like you had been manipulated again? No, no. She thinks it's because I'm fucking an attention whore. Well, and <laughs> you taught. I all didn't comedians are. It's what we do. Right. A bit, a little bit, yeah. I mean, it's not like the most uh, difficult thing in the world to talk you into taking your shirt off. That day was. It was just silly, though. But it to was. me, it's not even a serious thing. It's like you're in good shape. And What's just my a toast? <laughs> you're just a rude guy. He really is. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Asperger's. Just a, just, just a total dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. All right, but, how about, well, look, our food is here. We, we, yeah. You want to get her when we come back? Because then we have, uh, we have, uh, uh, Steven Sinner's coming in, Kevin's calling in at 10, and then Joel Kinnaman. So we might as well... Break, make love, talk. I'll, uh, I'll talk. We can break. I got Denver this weekend, oh. Friday, Saturday at the Comedy Works, a great, great club in downtown. And then the week after, I got the Count Basie Theater and uh, the Paramount in Huntington, Long Island. And I'm going to Vancouver. I fucked up my phoner yesterday, so. You'll like it. You We're, fucked up your phone? No, my phoner. I just, I called and they didn't answer. Where are you going? Uh, this weekend, I'll be at Bananas in Hasbrook Heights, February 9th. A Friday, it'll be Ron Bennington, Florentine, and me at the Ridgefield Playhouse in Connecticut. Uh, there's not a lot of tickets uh, left. Okay. And it's a good uh, show. listen to My Wife Hates Me on Riotcast. You'll love it. Yes, and get the Chip oh, Chipperson yeah. podcast. Uh, Florentine and Kevin Brennan are on the latest one. Bonnie's saying, are you trying to call me? You tell her we'll call her. We'll come back. Her. We'll be back uh, soon. Okay? Yes. All right, I'll be right back. We'll be back. With more Jim Norton and Sam Roberts. Hey, convince him the merits of coming in. He's not easy to get, but no. Steven Singer has made his way into the studio. Well, I'm here, guy. I was going to phone in like Kevin Hart, you know what I mean? Because my schedule is so <laughs> tight, and I, you know, I'm in such big demand. You probably make more money than he does. Absolutely. <laughs> listen, I'm taller than him. I know that. Yeah, you but, Philly uh, guys. We're both from Philly, right? Yeah. Right. But uh, listen, I, you know, I've been here, I've been with you guys, or some iteration of this show for the last 22 years, so I feel obligated to come in. Yes, and now uh, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did. I was very nervous doing my Stephen Singer read when you yes. were in the building. Yeah. You knocked it out of the fucking park. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Listen, you know, and. And you said you're always worried about them because you know you, some of them suck. I, I think they all suck. So Thank yeah, you I, think, I think they're consistently I that. Right. they're consistently bad. All Usually, right, uh, have this dyslexic moment when you spin everything around. You tell other people shit, and I like you tell me the address. You know where it is. You know, just go there and that type of stuff. That's great. It's well, beautiful. I like when Chip does the spots. Yeah, well, that, he, Chip, we get a very big reaction when Chip does spots. Well, you you gotta uh, advertise on Chip's podcast. And I, Chip listen, will do them. I'm down with it. I'm down with it. Uh, they they didn't reach out to you this year. No. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Didn't get the call. Didn't get What's the wrong call. With the people over there. I don't Steven's know. Steven's a loyal sponsor, and he, and he did some ads already. And it's Valentine's Day, and nobody there reaches out to you. I would love to. Speaking of loyalty, I was complaining about not getting ads on that thing because I'm, I'm getting. And Steven's willing to do them. I've, I, I'm telling you right now. I'm committing on the air. You have a tape of this. I absolutely would love to do it. Okay, thank you. We'll do it for if we can squeeze any in for Valentine's Day or certainly Mother's Day. Why not? Okay. Well, Chip is doing a read tonight, so for all you. right. Is cool. Bonnie, is, will Bonnie not do the show? I don't know. Did they try to call her? Do yeah, we, you were texting with her. Yeah, but she said, well, call her now. She call doesn't do it. Why does Voss have his shirt off when I'm here? What's going on with that? Why do I have it <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, why is your shirt off? Stephen wants to know. Oh, there? That picture? No, yeah, just in general. He's joking. I was joking. Oh. It's radio. So Shoo. it's like, you know. It's theater of the mind. Right. I'm thinking about, Bob, <laughs> do you know the number, stupid? <laughs> Calling Bonnie, the thing we were just talking about on the air just now? Well, it's good to see this show oh, is still a well-oiled machine. Never... Travis has it. He's coming back down now. Okay. Travis is coming, and he's going to. Can he just text you Bonnie's number? Because Anthony was just kind of sitting there like, yeah, I'm I'll, good. I'll uh, text him. <laughs> I'm all set. I know. I mean, if he's going to take over the fucking ship, know what he's doing, right? Uh, he has no clue. He doesn't? Mm -mm. No. Fucking <laughs> me and Norton, why they're doing this. Norton and I were talking about, I was at Steven Singer's uh, uh, place of business in Oh, wait Philly. a second. I got to tell you something. What? I, I don't want to give you a, a big head, but 
he gave everybody in the store uh, passes to get in, and they all went crazy. They all said how great you are. Oh, thank they you. They said, you are so funny. You were ripping somebody in the audience. You said, yeah, I heard you earlier, said you don't do crowd work, but you were doing it that night. Some and they little. said that you were hilarious. Oh, thank you. They yeah, said, they're... you really, really killed. Yeah, Philly's one of my favorite towns to do comedy, and I love helium. Uh, it just and I don't, helium, helium. I said. Oh, okay. said helium. Yeah, he yeah. said helium. Helium. It's another club in Philly. <laughs> oh, and, and, okay. That's a competitor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah a helium. Competitor. Uh, great, but when I went into his uh, place of business, it's fucking amazing. Yeah, we talked about it yesterday. The uh, the the, uh, the security and the yeah. fact. Do you really have your home the same desk in your house as you do? Yeah, I'm like the fly. Are I you have OCD? like the same sets of Yeah, I do have a little OCD. <laughs> I have everything set up the same. Uh, I'm a little bit mental like that. The yeah. fucking safe has a safe. Yep, yeah, it's true. <laughs> and its own air system. It, it's a smart setup, but why do you have the same office desk? Is it because this way you can work at home and still feel like you're at work? Yeah. I just, it, it's not exactly the same, but it's set up the it's same. Close. The same monitors, phone, all that crap, type of crap. Because I'm just nuts. I like, I don't like to learn. You know how Southwest Airlines has all the exact same planes? The same pilot can fly any plane. I they, know they, The mechanics can work on any plane. They can swap parts from any plane. They only have one model plane. Okay. Um, I'm like that with What is it, 737? Like, I don't know what what wow. model it is, but whatever it is, they only have one. So they're all interchangeable. They all work at that, you know, any any runway, any Smart. pilot, anything like that. And it's one it's interchangeable, and you can work it quickly and fast. I you don't have to relearn one, things like one that. One person... One thing once, and then wherever they are, exactly. So hey, every it. several years, we just scrap everything and make you know bring everything up to up to speed again. Let's okay, just... we got. I'm sorry, we got Bonnie on the phone. Oh, yeah, this good. is it. Okay. Good. Hi, Bonnie. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Good. We're... Good. We know. We know you're going back to bed, but uh, Rich, <laughs> Rich mentioned that you guys might have had a, like a little uh, a tiff. Bonnie, why why won't you let Rich take his shirt off for us anymore? No, Rich can do whatever he wants. I just suggested strongly that it makes him seem like a fool. <laughs> I, I don't see where, where you where you draw that conclusion. Like, like so desperate. <laughs> How am I desperate? Like I'm just having fun with the guys. <laughs> Yeah, I know. When I get together with the girls, we all take our pants off. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so what ha what happened? Last time you heard the rumor that Rich uh, did... His, <laughs> there is a vicious rumor out there that Rich keeps taking his shirt off. Was there off. a rumor that Rich had his shirt off last time and you, and you uh, confronted him? Like, I confronted him? Yes. I said... I, we were at a party. I said, can I talk to you over here for a moment? <laughs> But he does. He does have your permission today. I'm not doing it today. Why not? Because no, I said, "Here's what happened." I said, "Hey, stop taking your shirt off. It's embarrassing. You don't need to do that." He says, "It's a radio bit." I says, "Just so they can make fun of you." So just you know. Funny. Why are you spoiling our fun? It? I <laughs> hate it when they make fun of you. So why do it? He goes, "You know what? You're right. I'm never doing it again." It's so very nice. Time he went in, he took his shirt off. <laughs> yeah, but but Rich Rich makes fun of everybody. Yes. Rich is very mean spirited. He, he, he's he, a mean he's, guy. Yeah, he just comes in and shits on everybody. No, shut up. And and Bonnie and I talked <laughs> no. about this. Bonnie and I talked about this yesterday. And even Norton said everybody doesn't hate us like you think. A, a lot of comics. I didn't say everyone. You said everyone loves us. I said Rich, grow up. Not everyone loves us. That's you said everyone loves us. You're that delusional. <laughs> That's not true, Rich. No. Well, I mean, comic. What? He thinks that he and I can act the way we act and still have everyone love us. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, it's not true. Everyone unless unless us. Rich is taking his shirt off. Because when Rich takes his shirt off, he, he, becomes, love it. he becomes the life of the party. He's like the fun guy with the lampshade on his head when he takes his uh, shirt off. Yeah, it might be one of my relatives. <laughs> <laughs> I picked the right day to come into the studio. <laughs> so, Rich, would you, would you, uh, Nabani's not, doesn't seem like she's that upset. No, I don't think no, she's No, it's not going to happen true. today. Why? I'm bloated. It's not, it's not, I'm not upset. I'm, I'm upset for him. I'm embarrassed Wait. for him. So, uh, Bonnie, do you take umbrage with the fact that instead of Rich being a man and saying, I don't want to take my shirt off anymore, he's blaming it on you. He's saying, I can't take my shirt off in the studio anymore because my wife yeah, will Yeah, the old ball and chain yeah. that's hot under the collar. That's what he's saying. Oh, he says it's because of me. Yes. Yeah, he said you don't let him. It's he said really he said Bonnie, no fun won't let me take my shirt off anymore. 
he's he, in his mind. He's like, God damn it! I hope they ask me to take my shirt off. God, I want to take my shirt off. Please let me take my shirt off. And then he's got this little thing in the side that says, Oh, I told Buddy I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, but yeah, no, he's. I'm sure he only goes in there. I mean, he doesn't like you guys. I'm sure he <laughs> So that he can, it's like the one place where people are like excited that he'll take his shirt off. <laughs> you know, when, when he does it at Walmart, they're not so happy. Yeah, Rich, so why don't you just do it? Just no, take like, shirt off. I'm not doing it today. All right. Why? You don't because have to. I, first of all, this is Steven Sing- Singer's segment. Okay, let's. Cut this broad loose. <laughs> she got a couple Steven laughs. Steven likes to sit in on the show and be a yeah. part of the show. Absolutely. Absolutely. You hear about the show and you listen to the show and everything. Wouldn't it be cool for you as somebody who listens just, to the it, show to see? Oh, my God. I would love it. You maybe kidding me? Later. Maybe I, I can get just, even a picture with him with his shirt no. off. That'd I be great. I, 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 just ate, I could tweet it out later. It'd be terrific. You look good. I just good. ate a fucking omelet and I'm, you don't take your shirt off after you eat such a big breakfast. So, Bonnie, you won't be mad at him if he takes his shirt off. Rich, are you kidding me? Like, Oh, I just had an um. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Like, like you've been eating so perfectly. I to make you blow up. In the- <laughs> um, I hate Stephen Singer. Thank you. Yeah. So, but, so, Rob, you just came in with the camera in case Stephen wanted to get a nice picture. Sorry, let's just move on. Let's talk about well, the roses. All right. Well, we can't just. I mean, Stephen. We can do both. All right, Bonnie. We won't. We won't. Uh, if he wants to take a shot, oh, she, she hung up. She hung up. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he's funny, man. Might get rich to have a rose in his mouth while he's got his shirt is off, man. Wouldn't that would that be, be that would be a great picture. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Come how on, one Rich. My, how about one of my ass? All right, one. we can play switch. <laughs> <laughs> we can play black switch. Roses? <laughs> yes, Rich. Like, let, no. do something for the sponsor. Like, he's, has exactly. Stephen not helped you out with stuff? Sure, he has. Then why wouldn't you do him a favor? Why wouldn't you help him? Because I, I did. We plugged the fuck out of him yeah, on, our, <laughs> on our podcast. You can, you can plug all you want. Like, this photo is going to be such good promo Stop for Stop it, him. you fucking jackass. It's not going to work. Not today. That would be good I for him. I don't feel good. I have... I have uh, I, wouldn't that be good business? I had too I much... I think so. I drank too much citrus cell last night, and I'm gassy. You haven't shit yet, have you? Uh, only half. Oh, half a log fell out? No. Oh, no. Do, you, do you take citrus cell to shit? You take it every night. It's good for you. It's got bran and fiber and stuff. It's got fiber, not bran. It's got fiber, sure. and it's good for your uh, your uh, you know. I like that shirt, the, the, the blue. Is that what El Chapo yeah. was wearing That's in his it. interview? This is it. <laughs> you remember the El Chapo shirt? That this nice... is my drug dealer shirt. It is. Yeah. It's like a dope yeah. dealer. That's it. That's what I do when I go on the dope raids. <laughs> his his uh, his place has. Pictures of presidents. Big deal. Fucking, you, won't, you won't take the picture he wants. Exactly. I got he, a picture he, with him already. No, no he wants a picture of you. Yeah. In his safe. It's yeah. true. If, if you want to talk about his how great his store is and his pictures and everything, give him the picture what? that Listen, he wants for his wall. How about you take your shirt off? He doesn't want that. Yes. Nobody I, I wants do. that. Yeah. I don't have do. I don't have I don't have the body for it. You do. You no. do. You don't have. No. You've you, worked hard on your body. You, you show it off. You still work on it. Yeah. Constantly. Yeah. All the time. I go to. My fucking biceps are hard as a rock. Dude, I work yeah, out right. at least twice, sometimes four times a week. I can't get the fucking abs you got. I can't do it. You or the chest, yeah, or exactly. the arms. I know. I'm it's not a muscular it's guy. It's hard to turn silly putty into. You know what I mean? But you are skinnier. You're skinnier. Yeah, but you got muscle mass. Yeah, but you got muscle mass. It's annoying. It is. It looks good, man. Thanks. Yeah, well, well maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> if you stop asking him, yeah, he'll take it off. Well, you know, with you, pressure. Yeah. There's no pressure. You just want Stephen. To, I can't believe my people, the, the chip people, didn't reach out to you. What is Are wrong? You um, yes. Yeah. Because I've been bitching. We don't have enough ads. Well, like, I just want to do one once in a while, you know, or two. Our deep discount's been great. But then Stephen was. Uh, I'm like, well, maybe Stephen didn't want to do it. And no, I, 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 friends. I, I didn't want to pressure you. I was like, hundred percent. I. It just like wasn't top of mind that nobody nobody reached out. As a matter of fact, if you would have said to me we're doing it, I would have thought we were doing it. You know oh. what I mean? I don't. I don't know. You know what I mean? It's well, hard to keep the, track of it. How about it. The, I'll start tonight, and All right. uh, I will trust you. Do it without the contract. I do it. His. his He's on our network. His fucking podcast blew up our network. That's killer. Just he's yeah. number one. We're no. number two, but he's number one. It's unbelievable how how big his. It's, it's utter nonsense he's, through the whole thing. He's very professional. No, he isn't. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> no, he just lucked into something. Yeah, you should come on the Chip Podcast one day as a big sponsor. You should come on and sit. I in. would love it. I would absolutely love it. Oh, okay, that'd be, that'd be great. Well, you're welcome if you want to come tonight or next week, whichever night you, you want. I, uh, absolutely. No. I absolutely will come. Have you ever seen it? Have you ever seen him? I have. 
It's All right, pretty so you, good. you understand a chip is. Okay. Yes, I am well aware. Okay. <laughs> Steven is. I have a lot of people ask me about chip. You well, you'll you know get a like good that? picture with chip and hang it up in your. Uh, I would, I would expect great. in a place of honor. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, chip will pick the location. Yep. Well, he's got to get one of the pictures that he wants, right? That's that it. is true. I mean, some so of us will far, help him out. Other people so won't. Oh, for one, so it'd be nice if, if Chip. But if he him. does it, he's 500. That gets him in the Hall of Fame. There he, you go. He wants to be have a perfect record, not be yeah. in the Hall of Fame. The best sponsor on the entire platform wants the wants the perfect record. Yeah, one of my favorites. Yeah, right. Well, why don't you some loyalty you you've got. Have you been to a store? Of course, yes, I have. many for, times. For what? None of your business. Somebody okay. I was with wanted to buy something for someone she's dead, and I, it was amazing. Hmm. Yeah, soup upstairs for the employees. Yeah, I, yeah. I know a whole I little it, area. Yeah, fact, we I, treat people nice. Was in his store like three days ago. Yeah, it's like the big secret. Yeah, I yeah. went down with you. Yeah. Well, on, you said on wrong. <laughs> 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 so how uh, how OCD are you? How what OCD? Just a little bit. What, do you have any sense. numbers things like no, you, okay. no none of that stuff none of the things are at the count or doing any of that how about your food like can you have to separate peas from gravy no, or none of that stuff it's just the, the, there's just certain things I like lined up. You know what I mean? Like it's like dress shirts. I like them lined up a certain way. That well, type what, of thing. Is, it, is it according to color or is it according to uh, button-down collar or shirt? You know, which the ones you wear with the tie, that type of thing. Do you like them all in a row? Yeah. Is your closet neat? Yes. All your hangers yeah. face the same way. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And all yeah. your suits are in one area, like fucking Ace Rothstein. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mine looks like a sample closet when you look in it. You it know does. I mean? Mine yeah. is a mess. Yeah. You hate no, my I, closet. I hate. I can't stand when things are like all clutter, all shit, all over. All over Why place. was your house messy when you grew up? I'm always amazed by no, what makes people OCD. I don't know. I don't know. Just the way I just. I just. I, I don't like abusing. I like. I like to. You. I like to take care of things. You know, like respect stuff. Yeah. And uh, I don't mind. You know, using something. You, you break it. If you're using it, but I hate like abusing stuff. Like sure. like just ruining it. It just this it's ingrained in me to take care of shit. Were you poor? We were middle class. Yeah. Okay. Very very average. Do you have kids? I do. I have two. Oh, okay. So your kid, now do your kids? Do you make your my kids? kids are nothing like my, my wife and my kids are not. They, they're pigs. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. They have shit everywhere because my wife and I clean everything up and do everything for we've we've babied them. Um, they're good kids, but they're uh, both like messes. You know? Yeah. What's it like when your father is, owns a jewelry store? I mean, it's got to be hard to, you know, you have that kind of money coming in. It's, it, it's probably well, hard. A specific jewelry store. Steve Singer. Yeah. There you go. You're There's legendary. Some people who own jewelry stores and they're broke because they're not uh, uh, putting out the quality product okay. on a regular basis that Steven Singer is. We got uh, an offer here. Uh oh. Okay, Nick in Detroit. How's it going, fellas? Hello, Hello buddy. Something Steven Singer roses for Valentine's Day, and I'm sure everybody else will if Rich Voss takes off his shirt. A shirt on today's show. What do I oh. get? What do I get out of it? You get to please what, Steven Singer, who's been good to you. Promotion. Oh. You get to promote uh, Steven Singer. You get to do your friend a favor. You get to put out to the rest of the world what a good friend Rich Voss is, and what a legendary comedian Rich Voss is. That he's willing to make the sacrifice to everybody else. Take the shirt off on tonight's show. Hurry up before your calling card runs out. Well, listen. Fuck. Let me ask you this: This guy, what? just because he's calling up, what's your first name? Nick. Nick. We're going to send you a, one of our brand new frozen roses just for this nice call. I now, have a, do I have a frozen rose? You, you do have one. a frozen yes. rose. Very nice. I brought you several. Same Thank with you. Yes. Yes. Now, now, Lyle will display them okay. tonight as that'll well. That'll be Ooh, that'll be great. I'm going to give you extra. Okay. Now, Don't worry now Rich, he, he's going to buy 11 more. Who is? The guy on the phone. He's going to buy 11? I he will. just said a dozen. Minus one Okay, is... I'll make a deal with him. Okay. What's your name? Nick. Nick, you're buying 11 roses. And... They are fabulous. Uh, what are, are you What are you doing uh, on my podcast on Patreon? Ugh. What am I doing on your podcast on Patreon? Yeah. I will donate twenty bucks to the Rich Voss My Wife Hates Me podcast. Patreon. Oh, he knows the podcast. I don't want the money, yeah, but right. maybe I'll do it. But I don't mm -hmm. want. Come the on, money. dude, just do it now. Come on, Richie, Richie. Let please. me go look at myself. Okay. All right, Nick, okay. we're gonna put you on hold so you can get the information. Okay, you know buddy. What? Let me look at yourself. Yeah, let me see. I'll, I'll be on. Let's do it. All right, Nick <laughs> is on hold. <laughs> oh, we're we're doing All it. Right, we're we doing it. it. Wait a second. We got. How it. does okay. he look? Looks great. Oh, he looks really good. Oh, oh yeah. Look at yeah. You're not yeah. fat. What are you talking about? You look great. Yeah. Now you got to put the rose in your teeth. Yeah. Oh, good call. There you go. 
Rich Voss is shirtless. What's wrong with you, Rich? You look great. Yeah. He's doing it. Yeah. Yeah. This is it. Oh, my Lord. He Voss looks, good. looks really good. No shirt, rose in the mouth. You look good. Oh, buddy. my God. There's not a soft dick in look the entire room. Uh, Rob had to look come in and look at it. Look at the body on you. It's oh spectacular. Gosh. Magnificent. There you go. You. All right. My wife hates me, and I hate <laughs> Steven Singer have yeah. merged. This is it. Oh, my Lord. I am impressed. That is really something. <laughs> That is really something. Sure, just Look at my him. jacket on. <laughs> just they, just keep doing the rest of the show like that. You don't need anything. It looks great. It's nice and warm in here. Guys, <laughs> he's, he's he's posing his back now. Are you walking this out is like great that? for radio. Yeah. He's, no, he's literally walking out the door. Walking. He's with no shirt on. <laughs> he's walking in the hallway with no I shirt on. Okay. <laughs> Where's my shirt? Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a second. No shirt. Turn the camera. I'll see you guys. Where are you going? Steven's getting something out of a bag. Just put your jacket on. Where's Voss's shirt? I don't know. No one took it. Find it. He put it down somewhere. No one took it. I mean, you would have seen it if somebody took it. Oh, so that's a good picture with the, <laughs> with the rose. <laughs> <laughs> it's, up on our, uh, it's up on our Twitter it's that one. Show. That's a good one. Is it Jim and Sam show on Twitter? Yes. Show on Twitter. We'll find your shirt. In the that's meantime, just <laughs> put your jacket on. Yeah, put the jacket on, Fonz. <laughs> Don't make me look fat. Put that one. No, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Put it up. Oh. I just put that one. On. It's up. Except that's right. I, I Instagrammed you. You look very good. I don't have it. No you one touched. Give me my shirt. How do How do I have it? I was here the whole time. Steve, what do you got in there? I was looking for a shirt. He's like, it, here we go. There you go. Put that on, baby. You'll be set. Yeah. Oh, I have one of those. Come on. Come on. Now, you're, now you're in business. <laughs> now you're in business. <laughs> Leave this shirt off. You know you want to. Yeah, just put the jacket on. Do you really think I'm going to sit here in a fucking leather jacket? I'm trying to do you a favor. What's the favor? Now, look. There is. What favor are you doing me? How great is that? It looks perfect. <laughs> yeah, it does. I have one at home. Though. I know. Look at that. <laughs> For the fans at home, he's wearing an I Hate Steven Singer shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Sit down, Rich. Sit down. Now, Rich. now we're complete. It's a, it's it's a $500 shirt. Rich, what microphone. Are you, the rock? Microphone. <laughs> oh. That's cool. You look better in that shirt anyway, Rich. Sit down. That looks good. Get comfortable. You're a good friend to Steven. Look yeah, at that. that's great. I that for you you know how much business we're going to get from this today? I mean, Absolutely. Steven, Phenomenal. Steven comes in and he gets <laughs> fucking is, people naked this fast. This is it. Yeah. This is it. <laughs> and now you get the Steven Singer t shirt on. Yeah, it looks good. With that? I don't Nothing. Mind, right? no, no, I don't think you're going to be booked on that. Kimmel tonight. You kidding me? This is be better so. than the uh, stripper interview. Yeah, yeah, it was not a good one. No. Yeah. Stormy Daniels? No. no, it wasn't good. You look good, Rich. Look at you with the rose in the mouth. Stormy Rich. Look how fat I am. Yeah, that's true. You're not fat. You're a solid rock. Well. Yeah. You have okay. a body like a cicada. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm going to get in a fight over this. <laughs> no, one, she's not even going to know. She went back to bed. Are you fucking kidding me? The, right now, she just is looking at her Twitter. No one's fucking going to put this on Look. the Twitter. There's a picture of Rich with a rose in his mouth. Just keep it between us. Yeah, do us all a favor. <laughs> just make sure at Bonnie McFarland does this not it. see. Because it's only going to make a. F she's going to think her husband made a fool out of himself and I she's going to yell at him. Down there. Where is it? She where dropped you? your shirt. So you, yeah, where is it? I got have this rose scrub for the DNA on it. Hey, Troy, oh, for versus teeth. Yes. Could you do me a favor and just tweet out from the show's account, uh, just yeah. to tell the listeners not to tweet the photo to at Bonnie. Yeah, McCullough. make sure that make sure that. Right. <laughs> yeah, because it's going to wind up annoying her. We don't, I really don't want this to become viral. Right. Yeah. At, at the all. end of the day, we're friends, and we don't want any uh, tension in that house. We don't want Voss to look like an ass. Yeah. We, right. We don't want yeah, Bonnie to think he looks like a jerk. Good, I mean, it's a decent body, but no, you look nah, pretty good. You look great. Rich. You look great, Rick. For a sixty-year-old guy, look, you look I, fucking amazing. I love your body. That's why I try to see it every. It single is time nice. Come on. He has a hard stomach, doesn't he, Stephen? I think so. Yeah. yeah you yeah, look looks good. Great. Rose in the mouth. That's a hot ad. Yeah. yeah, yeah that should go up in your store. <laughs> hey, listen. He's got a, like a one pack. It's nice. It's very nice. That's <laughs> <laughs> great. You see what he did? Yeah. He nailed That's right, instead of six. He, he, now right. he got mean after I was a <laughs> team player. He did. He said you had a keg instead of a six-pack. I think that wow. the thing to do would be to hang that photo, a shirtless photo of you with the rose in the mouth. That's a good photo. I'm going to hang that right near the front door. When people come in, it's right away they see it. You should put it on the billboard right off 95 Ooh. there. That would be great. Look yeah. at that. I'd probably have to get permission for that. You think so? Yeah. No, Richard, sign it. Yeah. That would be great. 
Yeah, Rich, use that. Rich will sign off on it. Yeah. Ah, Sean in Colorado has a fair question. All right. Okay. I just sold 11 roses. What's up, Sean? <laughs> hey, hey, Stephen. I just wanted to uh, kind of get your opinion on which rose I should give my mother for Valentine's Day. Well, how long have you been dating your mother? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't with that fake laugh. That was a good joke. Yeah, it was very, know, very good. The like, sponsor like implied it. that he engages in incest. <laughs> I love it. I like it. <laughs> Listen, I'm a professional jeweler. I can answer yeah. these questions. That's right. Uh, if, she, if she doesn't have one, I would get I would get the red. But any any of the colors are great. Frozen um, is exclusive for this year. Yeah. Frozen is the brand new color for this year. It's a bright white rose with little sparkles in it. And the but, new uh, color always sells out. That's the this thing. is true. We're going to sell out probably in the next day or two. So you better go order them. Yeah, get right. frozen. Right. But they're all, but they're all beautiful and start a bouquet. Yeah, and turn it and tune into the Chip podcast, and you will see some. Yeah, that's some right, you'll see them tonight. A right. beautiful bouquet. It'll you had be, a bouquet last year. It was wonderful. It's gorgeous. Thank you, Sean. Godspeed. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, Joe in New Jersey has that qu- a question. Of course they do. Good question, Joe. Oh well, hello there. Um, I just wanted to ask uh, Mr. Singer uh, if they have anything. If he has anything other than the uh, frozen or gold dip. Roses. My wife hates roses. Yes, there's jewelry. We have tons of beautiful jewelry for you to get. You now, see, I, we were going to give you a rose, jewelry? but if you hate roses now, what are we going to do? You have gold dip jewelry. Well, we have gold jewelry. No. Joe, no what's shit. what's? You're fucking, no shit, you're a fucking jeweler. Right, Joe. What's the angle? The angle is I uh, that just uh, I don't have one. Okay, and I love Jimmy. Oh. And Rich is a, kind of a dick. Oh, go fuck he, yourself. Cut, yeah. you, this call was a waste. It was bad. You're a All waste. Right, Joe. It was a bad he call. Planned Rich it. is right. He planned it. Yeah. And it fucking failed. He, he, he did. He planned to have... Oh. He had a he had a gimmick he, going, and then he lost faith you and know got what, scared. Yeah. Know what you give your wife for Valentine's Day? An obituary. <laughs> 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 Mike in Long Island is a fair question. What's up, Mike? Hey, guys. Hello. Steven, uh, quick question... Uh, you used to sell a vase for the gold dip roses, correct? No, we never sold a vase. No. Um, no? At, no? At one time, we gave vases away in the store uh, for uh, one season, but we never we never sold them. But keep tuned, because oh. this year is going to be different. We actually have some new products coming out. We have a new signature scent that you can get now oh, crap. with Perfume? the roses. And if when you open the box, it has a little uh, scent, and so it opens up and smells like fresh roses. It's, um, that scent? Okay, it's but, uh, fucking remarkable. Thank you, you Mike. Gotta, you gotta, you gotta start doing that because I, I got, I'm with you. You know, I got about a dozen of these things, and I got They're just sitting in the boxes in the closet. Well, for the right price, Chip Chipperson will come to your house and hold them in his mouth. Fuck like, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. Right, good, 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 good thought. Thank you. you for thank that. you, Mike. You can put that scent in your bathroom. My wife put it in the bathroom. Yep. Fucking smells great. It's great. Yep. It smells great. And and there's a lot of stuff that. She, She's fighting in that bathroom. <laughs> oh, she doesn't have to, the bowel movements are not. not oh, she good. can't shit. No, Bonnie can't shit. Who said that? What's wrong you with just you? said that? Eugene in Long Island. Hello. She stinks up the bathroom. Hey, boys, how you doing? Hey, buddy. Um, listen, if Voss takes his shirt off again, I would be willing to accept a rose from Steven Singer. That's oh. a nice deal. You would take a free gift if Voss takes his shirt off. Wow, that is yeah. nice. Gladly would. You gonna go along with his bit, Voss? No, his your your callers are falling apart. Today. They are. They're All bad. right, Eugene. Voss They're said bad. no. Uh, D in Rhode Island. Let's go to a couple more. Hi. Good Hi. evening. What's going on? I'm trying to see what I should do to get my husband to buy me one of these roses. Sure. Suck his dick. It's a loaded question. Yeah. He does not listen to this fine radio program, so how is he gonna know that he should buy me a rose? How about you go to Stephen's website? And you start looking at the roses and go, I like this color, I like that color. When your husband walks over and goes, what are you doing? Go, just sit down in the chair, sit him in front of the computer, and then drop to your knees and fucking lick his bag. Right. I'll think of, I, I don't know, I don't know, I'll think of. What do you mean you don't know? Blow the guy, he'll get your roses. Or, or, yeah, or, I mean, or, I'll send you a dozen if you blow him. Or maybe lose 40 pounds. <laughs> All right, or you could do that. Yeah, See, I mean, don't you think the? I mean, if you're if you're not willing to blow your husband, why would you think that your husband would want to buy you roses on Valentine's Day? He needs to get me the rose first. Are you hot? Oh, it's the chicken and the egg. He's yeah, married. Uh, to him. Are you hot? That's a loaded question. Well, who do you look like? Who do you look like? I don't know myself. Oof. Jesus. Okay, Christ. on Laverne and Shirley, who do you look like? 
The big ragu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if I made a uh, statement All right, about weight. I'm sorry. Sorry, D. Um, that, that show's much older than I am. Yeah, I think she was just confused because your Laverne and Shirley reference wasn't topical 20 Thank years you, ago. Thank you, D, very much. Wow, people, Steven Singer lights up the phones. Is, what was that controversial thing we discussed yesterday? Oh, the uh, the name change of the team. That and Steven Singer have been the two well, fucking hottest topics of the week. I hate to tell you this, but uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, political controversies and free shit. Yes, free Get roses. The phones ringing. Yeah, with, true. I mean, the Valentine's Day is coming up. What's about Bobby in New York? What do you want to ask uh, uh, Steven? Well, I'm hot, Rich. So, Stephen, <laughs> could I have a could I have a free rose so I don't have to get my wife a Valentine's Day gift this cut, year? Cut or uncut? Oh. Uh, cut. Obviously, I'm but, a you know good for you. Guy. With so many people, thanks, Bobby. With so many people mm. that want these. Hold on, what do you? Now, Stephen didn't respond to him. Sure, he said yes. I'll put you on hold. All right. Steven's a good egg. With so many people that want these things, we can't just pick up the calls and be like, oh, you want when you want when you want one. We yeah. should have some kind of like, uh, oh, look at Voss over there. Yeah. Voss Shirt looks good. again. God damn that body. I don't want you to waste it. I got one. Are you still on? Are you still on, Bobby? Yes, I am. Oh, sorry, buddy. I meant to do that and hit you on hold. Okay, there you go. But we should have some kind of competition to see... Uh, who should get these things, don't you think? I d absolutely think that's a great idea, Sam. Uh, do we uh, have a game we could play? Let's play a game. Should we do a... Good idea. Yeah, we talked about this before. You want to play uh, Guess the Sound? I love that idea. That's a great idea. How about this? Um, let's, go to, let's go to the videos of the day. Um, should we say... Uh, where, where we go? Anthony sent a video package. Well, um, yeah, which one? Go down one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No. Up. Uh, one more, that one, I think is a good guess. This yeah, time. I agree. Okay. Because we got these... Uh, to give away the roses. Anthony sent these videos. This is an audio medium. Do right. you want Anthony to come in? Uh, that yeah. would be great. Let's have yeah, Anthony. Let's have Where Anthony is he? come in? Where is he? He's taking down Bobby's information. Okay. Okay, oh, well, okay. he can come in in just a second. Yeah, yeah. We'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll stall for just a minute. All right, and then we'll play. Then the winners will get roses? Yeah, they'll right, get a we'll rose. send them right if out. That'd be great. If they can guess the sound, they, they will get right. a free rose. That'd, that'd be terrific. Guess the, uh, the audio magic that has been provided to us by Tiny Anthony. Wow, this is going to be great. What's he doing in there? Like, uh... Restarting Pro Tools. Is this one of the new interns Why that I met? Why is he restarting Pro Tools? We told him for him to come in here. What's Anthony he doing? come in the studio. Why is he restarting Pro Tools? Well, I mean, we do need it. Well, yeah, I bet there's somebody else do that. He's going. His instincts are just dog shit. They, they I don't really know where are you getting that They're not from. good. Mm -hmm. well, where, you don't know where that idea comes from? Yeah. Just just because he messes up once. that crew yeah. in there? I yeah, don't know. Terrible. He's got to fuck Yeah, him. not, not he's good. Gotta, you got to, you know what? You got to lay down some laws with these guys. Well, just for, uh... Okay, Anthony, we wanted to, the, the video package came last night. You know, this is an audio medium, so we wanted to, we we're going to play a game called Guess the Sound, and the winner gets a free Steven Singer Rose. Are we ready? Anthony rolled his eyes. Anthony, comment. What's wrong, Anthony? Nothing. Yeah, no, no, what? You, how come you rolled I just, your eyes? I, I don't think that one. No. no get, play it. Play it first. Okay, this is the audio. Okay, should we... Troy, you play it. Sorry. Okay, okay. and Troy, announce yeah. when you're starting the video. Okay, I'm getting ready to... Could you try... Oh, is it, oh, sorry, buddy. Go ahead, Troy. Getting ready to start it right okay. now. Mm. Okay, that's it. That's the sound. That's I, I think my headphones crapped out because I couldn't really hear too much. No, that's me thinking. <laughs> that's probably about right. Do you want to play the sound again? I do. Or is that giving it away too? Much? I don't want to give it away. Let's get somebody on here. <laughs> How about this? Andrew in Arizona would like to compliment Stephen on his roses, but and he's not getting one unless he can guess the sound. Now, Andrew, would you like to win a free rose? Yeah, yeah, definitely. What do you think the sound was that we just played? I. I didn't really hear it. Oh, let's do okay, it one let's more time. Fair, All right, fair enough. Fair is fair. I got it. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not it's, sure what it is. I can't hear it. Bobby, you have a guess? It's Bobby Kelly's stomach growling. <laughs> Can I turn on my radio to hear the sound? Did you not hear the sound? No. I'm not right. One more time. One more time. Okay, one more. Here we go. We're going to do it one more time. All right. What are you doing with your phone, man? You got to turn your audio down so we can hear the sound. Okay, go for it. Try. I still, I still can't on. hear. We're it. We're gonna play it now. That's oh, crap. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You got it, Andrew. It's obvious. What it's is it? It's pretty obvious to us. 
What do you think it was? I, I can't. I All can't. right. Well, I'm sorry then. You've lost. Sorry, the game. buddy. You do not win. You do not win oh, the game. Oh man. That's Just guess. Guess. <laughs> Anthony, you look very dejected. No, it's you know, play the game. No, Whoa. you look very dejected. <laughs> Let's play. The, so yeah. why are you dejected? Because uh, that video has no audio. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Oh. Uh, so, so what made you send it? Because a cyclist was riding a bicycle and got hit in the face with a kangaroo. Well, I guess we were done with that. I guess that's that. Oh, yeah. 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 That's yeah. That's yeah. That's and the listener didn't guess that? He didn't guess that there was a cyclist that was a cyclist like, getting hit, by, hit in the face no, with a Anthony, kangaroo. No, Anthony, you would, when I said we, when you guessed it, you would have said because I thought that what was happening was interesting. Right. So you just gave it oh. away. One question is, why did you send it? Another question is, what, what is exactly uh, is the video? Yeah, I said, why did you send it? Because so it was yeah. funny. To and me. it was well, that when he was hit with audio. a kangaroo. Was it during a windstorm? <laughs> <laughs> what well, the, the guy's on a bike? The guy's on a bike, so it's just not you know. Kangaroo hit a guy on a bike. Yeah, where is the I kangaroo? Guess that's, it's a brown thing. You can kind of there no, it is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, just running across the road hits the guy. Oh, okay. Now, okay. Well, it's not all spoiled. Now that we know what it is. Why don't we watch the video again in context? Knowing so, what it is, so we can hear like, oh, that's what that is. Yes. All right. Okay. Okay. Hold on. And here. Oh, they're fucking storm chasers. There it was. <laughs> so now, now that you hear it, yeah, now you know. it's a little more obvious. So, but is there any other? There might be another video. Should in there we, we do another do. one? Let's since, do another one. Yeah, but Anthony, really don't give it away. It. Yeah, you got to give people a fair shot. Um, the first your... one I got why you sent. The first one had no audio, but I do understand why you sent it's that one. That was a big story. Right. Yeah, that was a big story. Yeah, Where this one? Do you want to do that one? Uh sure. This might be too easy. You think so? Yes. All right, hold on. Let's get somebody on. Yeah. Um, how about Mike in North Carolina? Everybody wants free shit. Mike, how are you? Hello, guys. Hey, Mike. Okay, buddy. What's going on? Hey. All right, we're going to play the Hello. game. You win a free Steven Singer Rose if you can guess the audio. Yes. From the video package. <laughs> Okay, I think we've heard it, right? Yep. Yes. yep. It's Trump kicking people out of the country. <laughs> you have a comment? <laughs> it's funny. Mike, uh, do you know the sound? I have no fucking clue. Do you need to hear it again? Yeah, hear it again, because it's obvious Please. once you know what it is. Yeah, once you know what it is, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> okay. Mike? We don't want to give uh, it away. Yeah. I do not know, guys. Well, you're going to have to guess because it's actually quite obvious. Yep. Uh, it's kind of hard to hit her over the phone. Oh, it must be a phone thing. Oh, it's, it's probably thing. not the radio. All right, well, sorry, Mike. You don't win. Yeah, that's. I sucks, apologize. Oh, boy. Does anybody else oh, want to want to try to to guess? Because I feel like just because Mike it's didn't so get obvious. it, it's so obvious. We'll do one more with this one. Should we do another? Should we play it again? With one more for this one, let's get somebody okay. else. Rob in Virginia. What's up, Rob? So what's up? What's going on, boys? Hi, buddy. Hey. Yeah, can I hear it one more time? Okay. Yeah, let's hear it one more time. <laughs> Uh, okay, that's it's every man's that's, dream. I'll tell you that. That's the yard at Rikers. What do you? Th Actually, I think I got it. Yeah. Go All right. Uh, it's it's a group of gentlemen of uh, darker uh, complexion uh, after they ran a train on Rich with his shirt off. Close. Come Very on, close. Don't tease me. <laughs> Do Sorry, get, Rob. Unfortunately, that is not. No price? Anthony, no price. what prompted you to include this? Do you want uh, because I thought it was hysterical? It, it is funny to look at. I don't know exactly what the thing is doing. Why? It's obvious what it's doing. Should, should, should Anthony announce what? They announce what, the, what this what, audio what is. is. What is the sound, Anthony? It's a donkey uh, sucking his own penis. But, but wait a second. I have a question. Sure. How come your sound, sorry, Rob. I'm sorry, Rob. How come your sounds do not correlate in? any possible way with the videos they don't even come like i are, are you kind of stupid <laughs> <laughs> like just an honest question right huh just an honest question well, i'm just wondering it would be if that was the video the sound would be <laughs> like that sure you know sure. more of a sucking sound sure and mm -hmm. then maybe a sound of a mule right not another fuck what do 
<laughs> fucking Mexicans have to do with a donkey sunk in his own cock? I'm just asking because I don't. I've never played this game before. <laughs> I I just thought the video was funny, Rich. Oh, oh yeah. But that's yeah. not the game, stupid. <laughs> well, who gives a shit what the game is? <laughs> the game, who does? The people that hired you. That's who gives a shit. That's actually a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, now let's go with a, uh, go to the next that's one. That's a fair point. Do you want to try this one? Yeah, go to that uh, one. We'll okay. do this. Oh, yeah. This is a good one. Yeah, okay. This is a good one. Wade in New Mexico has got the phones lit. All right. All right, Wade. Yeah. Okay. All right, we got some... Uh, some uh, what is the audio from here? Okay, ready to go? Yes. Yes. Okay, here we go. Go. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a clue. There is a clue. There's a clue. What is it? Uh, that's a little fat kid in his underwear running out of a grocery store. Close. Very All close. Right. Very close. Nico, did <laughs> <laughs> you run out of a grocery store in your underwear? <laughs> <laughs> he says no. No. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. But so no one believes him. No one believes him. No, I don't. All right. So, I'm... Wade, that is incorrect. Thank you for playing. Yes. Steven Singer is trying to give these roses away. It's tough. It's tough. Yeah, it is tough. This is a tougher game than I thought. Yeah. All yeah. The, we, uh, I thought it would be very obvious. Is this a paid internship or a non paid internship? He's actually a full time employee. employee. <laughs> uh, he's paid. He is fully paid. And who does the screening? Yeah, yeah. It's a, that, this is a. Is that the same person that books the Chip podcast? <laughs> there is no one that books the Chip podcast. It's no. Christina. We this need well, a... what the hell is going on here? This is this is something. You, oh, so? you know, this is radio, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, Anthony, you understand the point that the videos are. It's harder for the audio. Steven's yeah. giving you a bit of a razzing. Isn't yes. It? Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry, but about you that. understand <laughs> that. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I, wow. You're annoyed, but you shouldn't be annoyed. I'm, I'm not. Sure. Okay. I'm not... Uh, Stephanie in Texas wants to play. Let's do this one again. Let's go, <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> Uh, yes, is the first one a stampede? No, but we gotta play this one. Yes, yeah, Stephanie, listen. Th put, listen to this one. This is pretty obvious. Yeah. Okay. There's a clue. It. What is it? I I know. Was it an airport? There's people in an airport? No. Uh, unfortunately, it was not people you in You obviously airport. don't know what it sounds like. Anthony, you want to say what this video was? What is the video, Anthony? Uh, these are two people who are not moving their lips that are kissing on the subway station, and it's really freaking me out. So I figured that you guys would get a kick out of it, and I was wrong. Anthony said to himself, hey, it's on Barstool's Instagram. It's got to be, it's it's gotta be good. <laughs> what, we're, what, we're, what we're getting a kick out of is your failure at this mission. And that's the fact you wore a good hoodie in for this. No I didn't one... know I failed the mission, but, you know. Whoa! Didn't mean to fail the mission, but, you know, as long as I don't fail the mission, maybe next time my mission will be, you know, accomplished. Here's the thing. Yeah. Even the way I talk. I still do 100 times better than you in life. Well, okay? you should. You're 75 years old. Oh! So you're, you're mad because you failed and we're pointing I'm it out. I'm not mad. Yes, you are. No, Look at I'm your not. face. You I, I am not mad at all. You so far have not cracked a smile. You have brought nothing to this but abuse on yourself. <laughs> no one has. Mm. No one can win because it's not even close. Why don't you go out in the hallway <laughs> and just do one more video and we'll try, you know, something that someone can win. Steven wants to give roses Do, do we away. have the people's names that played so far? No. Oh, or did we lose no, that? No, they're, no, embarrassed. We they're embarrassed they played this fucking dumb game. They are. I see. <laughs> they're embarrassed. I see. Oh my! Oh, he got me on the speech impediment. Whoa! He Jim, did. Do you mind? Do you mind if I if I bring up the game that I was challenged to last night when you texted me? Um, what was the game? <laughs> Jim challenged me to a game. He challenged me to <laughs> open a certain email. And for five hundred dollars, <laughs> find something that was worth playing on the air. <laughs> now, Anthony, these videos, I understand. I understand. Stephen, I was not able to catch. Uh, uh, I understand. Well, I understand, Anthony, the enjoyment of the videos. I get the video quality, and they are fun to watch. And yes. I figured we would just tweet them when you guys are talking. Why you guys are talking? No, about but them. We, it, for the radio, you can't just tweet them. Like I get why they're enjoyable. Like I do understand that. Um, <laughs> the donkey blowing himself is fun to watch. The couple is creepy. The fucking. Uh, but for the radio, it's hard because there's us just hey, playing that, that thing. Like we we'll play that, and and it's like when you this we're doing this for a reason because you play it and you hear like oh okay you can't wait but wait you're explaining the concept of radio to a no, guy but that I'm, works in radio. But I'm explaining to him why I, 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 right, I that's tough that's tough. I'm explaining that I understand why he enjoyed the video. Like, I do. I watch them and I'm like yeah I get it. I watch every video he sends. Like I get. 
why they are. But this, let's try this one. But it's hard when there's nothing. This one here. Of auditory of, of auditory enjoyment. Have a little rebuttal with them too. Let's see. Uh, well, I'm actually I'm not he's, him. He's helping me. No, he's not, because he would fire you if he was helping. You. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> to find another career, you stink. <laughs> <laughs> Words of encouragement. <laughs> oh, hold on, pause. I don't want to blow oh. this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody All right. should compete for this. This, one. this is obvious. Let's go to Brandon, North Carolina. You're on hold to play the game for a beautiful Steven Singer Rose uh, Frozen, the new uh, color. They will sell out. If you don't buy one now, you're do, stupid. Do, you're going to complain that they're sold out. Do Barstool's Instagram and World Star Hip Hop, are those just default bookmarks on like. A web browser? I, I think so, but they, those are much, Anthony, those are much more video friendly things. Like if we were doing a, a live, a, a podcast, like where we're putting videos up and commenting on them, these would all be great. That donkey one we could have done a half hour on, but it's kind of hard because we're playing, it's just audio for the radio. All right. Are you ready? Here we go. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, stop this. I don't want to give it away. Right. It's pretty obvious. It. It's Brandon, North obvious. Carolina, what is that? All right, well, I'm shooting 100% so far. Wait, right. no, hold. <laughs> okay. That sounds just he, like a you get poor he, shit effort by shitloaf. He just won himself a rose. That is you want a rose. That is true. You figured it out. You got yeah. Brandon. Way to go, We're going to put you on hold, Brandon. Way to go, Brandon. Thank All you. right. You won a free rose. You did win yourself well, a rose. He, he said that was a uh, piss poor effort by shitloaf, which is Anthony. Oh, uh, okay. Um, how about... He, look at that. Go after him. Who, it's Brandon? Amazing. It's amazing. They go that after he, me all the time. It's amazing go, that he decides to go, go after the legend. Yeah. They, they attack you all the time? Well, of course. Do you think the reason why is you fail? <laughs> all the time? Could, that, could that be the reason that maybe one time... Do you see those two guys in there? They're fucking deciding who's taking your spot. And I'm looking out yes. for you. I'm trying... It's called tough mm. love. It's called tough love. All right? So, buckle down. <laughs> Comments, Anthony? I will buckle down. No, you, Thank you. Buckle is... down. Buckle Ooh. down. Oh, I didn't say anything listening. wrong on buckle down. Huh? Well, this is like in okay. Goodfellas when he shoots him in the foot. Yeah, you know oh, yeah. what I mean? This is it. Fighter yeah. you go fuck yourself, Fighter. Tommy. This is yeah. it. <laughs> That's Woo. okay. This is it. Okay. Woo. These young guns. Yeah. All right. I'm not going to bury him. He's right, though. <laughs> Nico and Rob are in there licking their chops. Who they are, are. Who are all the hot skirts in the hallway? All right. 1950s dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Should we get uh, one more? Dan in California. We'll try. Oh, this one. I like this one. This is a good video. Okay. All right. Ready? All right. Dan? Okay. Ready. You're on. Hit play. Troy, please. Oh. oh, sorry. Okay, now do it. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, that's there it is. There's your sound. What, Dan, is that sound? God, this sound is awful with the, with, with Anthony's mic yeah, on. Yeah, that yeah. mic too. No, it's it not is. you. It's the mic too. Yeah, it's not you. Just your... amp, pull towards you a little bit. Yeah. It's just the fucking with all the mics on. Mm -hmm. bad. What is that sound, Dan? Do you want to hear it again? Wait, that's your reason yeah, well, you think this is bad? No, no. Yeah. Uh oh, I'm a, I'm in trouble. He's, a, he's had enough of your lip. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> he's about to bring the big guns out. Uh -oh. Enough of your stammer. Oh, Whoa! stammer! Oh, we nailed him that time. Oh, and we had enough of this fucking bit. <laughs> I mean, the bits. The bits. Of Mine it. and Jim's. Yeah. yeah. That's not that cool. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I, I like that you guys. Oh, okay. Right. To do it. <laughs> Thank you. I, I appreciate like that. Okay. I like it as producers. Oh. Well, they're the hosts, right? We, we are. Yeah, he's no, actually right about that one. Mm. I guess I mean I guess we're producing as we go too, but we are you are right. We are the host. Yes. Yeah. Um all right, Dan, do you want to hear the sound again? Yes, please. Okay, let's hear the yeah. sound. Here we go. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, that's our that's our most obvious one yet. Yeah, what is yeah. that? <laughs> Him getting kicked uh, out of the building. <laughs> 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 what do you think, Dan? Is it is it uh people? That are excited to be in Steven uh, Singer's store? No, that's not the answer. It's a good answer. That's a good guess. Steven, you like that answer? I would give him. Uh, listen, I, I'm a I'm a, a, a pussy. I would give everybody. Dan, a rose. you've won a rose. <laughs> Congratulations. All right. Well, Congratulations, finally. Dan. There's two in the room. Anthony, what was that video? That was a uh, little girl Spartan kicking her brother in the face. Okay. 
Because the day before, let's go over Tuesdays. <laughs> oh, you want to do the Tuesdays email as well? There was a couple of good ones in there. There was one which we should have played and we so did not. The sound that we just played was a, sm a small, tr a little girl kicking her a, a boy in the face. I see. Yeah, I see. And again, I understand the video enjoyment. That's fun to watch. Well, yeah, but, I mean, but for a video like, again, but if we were doing something that had video and audio uh, live. That would make perfect sense because then we could show it and talk about so it. So you're saying Anthony could be a good producer for Web Junk Twenty? Yeah, well, yeah. Like you should, you should think like audio only. Like sometimes these clips of fights and all this weird shit. Or even what what promotes discussion? They'll have something like not like uh, here's a five second video that you'll giggle at. But even if the audio is no good, does it promote discussion? Is there anywhere to go after? Hey, you see that little girl kick that little boy in the face? Should I go to the second one? The first I mean, one. Uh, this one right here? Well, yeah. There's anywhere to go after that? After that? After that. I would go, uh, where did this come from and mm -hmm. why am I looking at it? Right. And, and then we'd and then we'd introduce you to Anthony and we'd be here, wouldn't we? Yeah. All right, yeah. Hold on, let me get some. Yesterday's oh, first, yesterday's I, first one we should have played. The the Tom Brady one, which I'll say what that was, we should have played because that was a news story. Well, that's yeah, that's just we news did, we just didn't get to it. We yeah. should have played that one. This, okay. I did I did watch this yesterday. Yeah. Uh and I uh, does Kevin Hart know he's got to follow this? <laughs> I hope so <laughs> because this is yeah. This yeah. Is some All right, what's up, Colton? Stuff. Colton, hello. How's it going, guys? Hey, hey Bob. Bob. Good, good. All right, so you're on uh, the game. What? Guess the sound. Yeah, guess the sound. What, Colton? Do you think this sound is? <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> okay. There it is. Uh, we that's, don't want to give it away. What? I think that that's quite obvious. Yes. That one is probably a dead giveaway. I think this is going to put a close to the game pretty quick. Colton, what do you think that sound is? Oh, man. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say... Uh, a big King Kong monster squeezing a potato? <laughs> <laughs> you know that's not that far off. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, that's correct. Steven, what do you think? Is the answer close enough? I think so. Give him a rose. Steven, okay. Steven, Steven's a softie. All right, Colton, we're going to put you on hold. But do you want to tell him what the real what it was? Yes, Anthony, tell him. Uh, it's a fan snuck onto the Pelicans uh, while he was taking warm-ups and, and, and pretended to be part of the team and then got kicked off the floor. That's funny. <laughs> You're on hold? Rich, you seem to have forgotten to laugh. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Let's go with. Holy, the... can't we listen to Kevin Pollock instead? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's when it starts to get. Let's go to another one. What's the? Uh... You want to go to more? One more. You want to say one more? One more. Just to, just so you're not painting an unfair portrayal. Um, you know what? Uh, the last one. Oh, <laughs> is that the one? Uh, you... <laughs> that's, a... that's the one you went for, huh, Jim? Yeah. <laughs> And watch that. Watch okay, that let's one. get this somebody. Hold on. I'm actually surprised. Hold on. I am I am flabbergasted that you and I did not have time to bring this up yesterday, to tell you the truth. I, I am too. Because, I mean, I think that you and I were in sync uh, the night before last when we were sitting there going, this is the goal that we need to launch ourselves with tomorrow. Hold on. Chris is saying I fucked up. Now. Yes, Chris in D.C. What's up, buddy? Hey, brother. I was hoping to play the game, but I got a, a point. I think you're missing... Like, you're looking at it like Anthony messed up one time, but this is about eight times in a row now. He's it missed is, the mark. I will say to well, Chris, that's why I'm going into two days. Of I, I will say to Chris's credit, though, it is mysterious that you have been very, you're a very good teacher, Jim, and you'll say, like, here's what's wrong with it. And Anthony will be like, okay, all right, yeah, no, I get that. As if it's the first time he's heard it. When, like, you know, this has all, it's all already been said. We've talked about it before. Yes, multiple times. Do you have to hire him under some kind of equal thing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we'll do, I will do one more. Play the well, audio we'll do, for this. We'll do oh, one man. More. <laughs> yeah, we got, I think Kevin's calling in soon. <laughs> yeah. So we'll do one more. One more. Here we go. <laughs> I right, wait for it. Wait for it. It's going to be very obvious. All right, I don't want to give it away. Okay, there it is. There it was. It, this is pretty obvious. Uh, Chris, yeah. what is that sound? He's going to get it. Why don't we just give him the rose? Because he's going to, obviously, he's going to get this with no problem. Chris, this is obvious. Steven wants a bail out of this. <laughs> Chris, what is it? 
That's a fiance who was left speechless after receiving one of Stephen Singer's roses. Oh, what, what a, a correct, yeah. what, what a, a politically correct wow. answer. Wow, that was good. Was that true, uh, Anthony? No, it wasn't. What was the answer? Uh, it was a woman doing yoga on a, in the middle of the aisle of a plane, which is, huh. you know, I found interesting. You should do a radio show. Yes, uh, we're going to put you on hold, Chris, so you can, because your answer was very good. Okay. Is he on hold? Yes, yeah, he is. Yeah, we're ready to go. All right, let's go to Kevin. He's thank you for your contribution. Anthony, oh, thank you awesome. very much. You're welcome. Fantastic. We, we appreciate Fantastic. you calling in. Great stuff, so Anthony. Great stuff. And good fighting back. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Kevin, what's up, buddy? Did. What's going on, Jim? How you doing, man? Where are you? Uh, right now I'm in Cali, man. Oh, oh you are? Hey, early. So do they have to wake you up for this? or Do they have to wake you up for this, or are you already up doing a press tour? No, I'm up, man. Uh, press tour and working out, brother. Go to the gym. That's what, I'm what you call active, Jim. You really are. That's oh. why your body looks as good as it. I, I comment on, on your physique more than you think. Who's, really Kevin, who's more active, you or, or The Rock? Because I, I follow that Instagram, and, and The Rock seems extraordinarily active. Uh, you know what? I can honestly say we're, we're both along the same lines, but at different times of the day. Like, um, mine is more consistent early in the mornings. His fluctuates. He'll do a couple early sessions, but he'll also go late night, late night as well. So he's not waking up to do it all the time. I have to wake up and do mine at the top of the morning. So mine is in that 5 a.m., 5.30 a.m. range on a daily basis. It would, I see. It would be mine, not mine. I am way better than him. Rich Voss is, <laughs> Rich Voss is correcting you. Kevin. Yeah, Rich Voss just corrected your grammar, Kevin. Rich, Rich, Rich Balls has the body of a 75-year-old woman. <laughs> Let me, I'm fucking ripped. How's it going? <laughs> yes, I am. Well, Rich, and anything, listen Rich, to me. Listen to me. First of all, calm down, all right? Don't get all but excited. But your, your big comeback, Kevin said you look like an old woman, and your big comeback is, no, no, I look, I'm ripped. I'm ripped. No, How's like a comedian's comeback? Kid? First of all, you don't have to be a comedian. We're having a conversation. I know you. What are. I'm trying to say to Kevin is, he uh, challenged me, and like an asshole, he said, "I'll give you five hundred dollars to one hundred if you could do a two minute plank." And like a pussy, I said, "I'll just do it without the bet." And I fucking did a two minute plank. I could have won five hundred fucking dollars. First of all, you didn't take the bet because you had no faith in yourself, which you shouldn't. No, I, I, no, I, no, I didn't have a hundred dollars. <laughs> you got, you got lucky, and when you saw that you did it, you were actually shocked. <laughs> now, Rich, if you don't think I noticed, you've had all types of surgery. You got another thing coming. I had none. Rich had lipo. I know he's had lipo. No, have you had lipo? No, you said you had lipo. Had no, I would do it though. I would do it. He has. They put. They put the thing between his ears and they sucked out whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, a two minute plank. I can't do it. I could probably do like a, a, a minute maximum. Is plank? It, yeah, I can't plank for that long. Just I put a cock down there. I will, <laughs> I will say this. I will say this about both of y'all. As much as I love trashing y'all and giving you guys as much as possible, I can honestly say as you guys got older, you really started taking care of yourself because you saw how serious the health side of it was. Boss, you are in amazing shape. Jim, you really did get it together and start taking care of yourself. You were headed down a weird road, too. Jim, <laughs> point, Jim, when you had gained weight, it just looked weird. Your, your head just, it just didn't match. I just didn't like the way it looked. I just never said anything. You did say something. First of all, I look like Chaz Bono. And you did say something. <laughs> you, you fucking came in. I told you, Kevin was one of the guys who really made me, because I hadn't seen him in a while. And it was he sat down and he just went, your face is getting fat. <laughs> and I remember that. I'm like, oh my God. It was such what? a natural thing for him to say. I'm was like, Bobby Kelly in the studio? How come he, like, oh. why? Uh, oh, I why? Because I'm sticking up for you. You don't have to stick up for me. I look I'm out saying for it you. motivated me to work out because I realized if you, someone you don't see, the first thing they tease you about is you look fat and yeah. it feels natural. Like, wow, yeah. I really got to do something. But you're, you're working out. Well, you, just, you, just for your listeners so they don't think. That I'm the the evil person. Guys, don't think that I'm just out attacking people because of their weight. It's different. This was my friend, and our rapport was to give each other the maximum amount of shit as possible. So getting under each other's skin is what we do. Seeing Jim's face and realizing that his face looked like the turnbuckle in the wrestling ring. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason why I said what I said. By the way, that's how you know Kevin is a movie star. Because he's, he's he, we've been trashing each other for fucking 15 years and he's going like look first of all I'm not fat shaming it's like you, yeah you have to say that now because you are famous and they'll pick up that you're fat shaming and they'll come after you for it 
Exactly. That's why I make sure they understand that I'm not. This is just me and my friends joking. Naturally, what I'd love to do is motivate and inspire. And I think regardless of a person's weight and size, that has nothing to do with their mental. It's all about a mental, man. If you know that you're doing the right things in your life to get healthy, then ultimately you're putting yourself in the best position to not only win, but live for a long time. And that's what it's about. To see my friends get healthy, and I'm talking about Jim, and I'm talking about you, Rich, that's a big deal deal, man, because but, in our lifestyle and our environment, we're not in the healthiest surroundings. We're, can, the, we're around fast food, we're around junk, we're around alcohol, cigarettes, whatever it is, whether it's drugs, whatever your poison is, it comes within the lifestyle that we live. So when we make that choice to live it the right way, I think it's better. So to see the guys do that, I applaud you for it, man. I think it's dope as hell to see you guys make a But I, I do have to tell you, Kevin, because I, I don't know if you've hung out with Jim recently, because although physically... He is in good health. Mentally, he is not even remotely in good health. He's <laughs> yeah. in a terrible, terrible place mentally. He's always been a sick dude. He's always been a, 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 a weird a weird guy. There's, there's, a, there's a different level of sick in there. I know that. <laughs> I put you on the mental, of course. Hey, and Kevin is promoting, by the way, uh, the Irresponsible Tour, which just add, how many dates did you just add? A hun- hundred new dates. Uh, across I over a hundred, a hundred dates. Uh, we're doing. Uh, you know, this is a global tour, domestic, international. I wanted to release it in a big way. We released the tickets today. They all go on sale, man. And you know, this is uh, this is my best hour and twenty minutes of material to date. This is me being real, authentic, raw, uh, putting my life out there on display, as honest uh, as I possibly can. And I think you know the reviews are. And people are loving it, and the production, the show, just the whole vibe that goes along with my tour is one like like I've never done. You know, I love to outdo myself. Ultimately, we're our own competition, and when you realize that, it's all about just being better than you were the day before. Well, so I just wanted to make sure that this tour was better than my last one. That it's bigger, and that that title, comedic rock star, is one that people will understand when they come and see the show. Well, May twenty seventh, yeah. Kevin's gonna be at the PNC. Uh, the twenty eighth is. Pred- Prudential Center, July 29th, Nassau Coliseum, September 27th at MSG. Tickets are going on sale today. These shows will always sell out. They all sell out. Kevin sometimes will do multiple arena shows in the same city, sometimes just one. So uh, it's not a problem to, to will they sell out. It's yeah. just a matter of just get the tickets first so you have them. Hey. You, you got accused recently, too, buddy, about being... Uh, it's amazing like uh, how people take SNL monologues and make more out of them than it's just a comedian trying to be funny. And uh, you, you, you know... You, you got called sexist just because you were doing parenting jokes. <laughs> you, listen, if they're not talking about you, then you're doing something wrong. We live in a world where social media has given people the power to voice their opinions, and sometimes those opinions get magnified simply because of a click of a button, simply because of the power of a retweet. When you feed into that stuff, you give it more energy than what it deserves. It's nothing. You ultimately, as a comedian, know who you are. You know the content and context of the things that you're talking about. Some people just love to speak. Some people just love to have some Something to say. Those people always exist. I don't let it bother me or affect me or my craft. You know, it's it comes with the territory in today's time. It's that simple. You have to and, understand the generation and what goes with the generation. And clearly, it didn't. Uh, yeah, controversy. That's just something that's in today's time that you'll have to deal with regardless. And it's, it's always good when there's that like. Uh, social media outrage and it really doesn't affect you because you didn't acknowledge it and now you and i mean jumanji came out after that and it still did 800 it's only done 800 million, million worldwide yeah. the controversy like, hurt it it just <laughs> went like week after week people were like oh star wars and people, star wars had one week every week after star wars it was just jumanji 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 yeah incredible yeah. well i mean listen either that i think i think the work the work speaks for itself okay i mean when you talk about the snl it was uh, i believe when minds came on outside of wills that just came on which did amazing numbers uh minds was like one of the highest rated that they had for the season um you know the tour speaks for itself the shows have been selling out left and right uh you know the movie box office results speak for themselves i mean you're looking at another number one movie that falls under your belt so i say that to say people are always going to talk it's my job to make sure i do my job to the best of my ability i'm always trying to do it at 100 percent and nothing less and the results are always going to speak 
on behalf of your hard work. When you understand that and know that, all that other stuff means nothing. You have to let people talk. You have to let people say the things that they're going to say. That comes with the territory. When people feed into that stuff, you become a part of the problem instead of being a part of the solution. The solution is to continue to move forward and show people that you're not one of the weaker entertainers that let these things get to them. And you also... Uh, animal, man. Laugh Out Loud uh, is launching a serious XM 24-hour comedy channel which is, uh, it's, it's going to be early this year. Do you, you don't know what, when that's actually going to happen? Uh, we're actually going to launch on Valentine's Day, February 14th, man. Excellent. Laugh Out Loud, I'm going to have my own channel. Um, you know, this is something that I wanted to do underneath the brand of my own digital network and the fact that I can have uh, a serious channel where people will get to hear me and my show weekly, literally. My my topics and things that I see you do, Jim, at such a high level, the things that I've seen uh, Howard Stern, you know, when you talk about open and Anthony, all of these people that I've seen just do an amazing job on the radio as a comedian, that's an outlet that we can always shine on because, you know, we're opinionated and we have clever ways to get our opinion across. So to have the opportunity to do what you guys are doing and still uh, pursue my career as a comedian as well as an actor, as well as a producer and, and CEO, it's an amazing thing. I'm just trying to put on as many hats as possible. Hey, Kevin, we also got on line four. Bob Kelly wants to talk to you. Um, Bob is calling in. We didn't know Bob was going to call in. So, Bobby, you're on with Kevin. Well, get the get the breath machine ready. <laughs> well, will somebody please hang up on this mini Oprah? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, God. Bobby, Bobby, first of all, first of all, Bobby, put the food down that's next to you. <laughs> he, he can. You called in the middle of, of chomping down on a waffle. It's probably a waffle. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. You and your stupid stump speeches is annoying me. Don't you right. talk to Mr. Hart that way. <laughs> you know what, boss? You know why it's annoying you, Bobby? Bobby, you know why it's annoying you? Because this is what success sounds like. <laughs> well, I'd rather hang out with my unsuccessful friend, Rich Voss, than you. How's that sound, Mr. Kevin Hart? Oh, well, I, I, I wish I could say that to you, Bobby. <laughs> Listen, I know that Bobby would want me to sound unprofessional, and Bobby, you would love to see things fall apart. It's not going to happen, stupid. <laughs> I am well put together, Bobby. Stop praying for my downfall. <laughs> hey, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. And what? What? Why don't you help me out? Why don't you help me lose some weight? Why don't you take me under your... Oh, we, we lost oh. Kevin. <laughs> Did you do that? No. Oh. Can we, uh, we lost Kevin's. That was the actual comedy gods. <laughs> no, see, we can get him back. We lost him by mistake. Well, I'll talk to Roland, but yeah. he called us. We didn't call him. Well, the number was on the thing. No, oh, you don't have it. Okay. Write down every... Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, try to get him back. We, we, our apologies. We just hey, Bobby. No, no, hang on one second, boss. Hey, let me tell you, Norton. Yeah. Boss is yeah. such a piece of shit. Thank you. As, I'm not even on the radio, and he's got to throw a fucking fat thing at me. I didn't Ooh. throw anything at you. Yes, yeah, you, you, did. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You should yes, sound like Bobby's stomach rumbling. Yes, you did. And and then Norton, you go. I was sticking up for you, and Norton goes, "I don't need you." You know what, Bobby? Who did I say I don't need you to? Voss. The Voss. Here's yeah, I don't. Here. The fa Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. All right. What? I have to get Kevin back on. I don't know which button to hit. Oh, my God. I okay. need Sam. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get Kevin back on? He's, he's back on now. Yeah, we just, we just, uh, we got disconnected. Oh. So we're picking up. Yeah, no problem. Uh, hey, Bobby. What? All right, Kevin, you're oh. back on. Sorry. Okay, yeah, guys, I don't want you to think that we got disconnected. I hung up. <laughs> the, re the reason why I hung up is because I didn't want my fans to think that Bobby Kelly was associated with my tour. <laughs> I thought that his voice could hurt my ticket sales, so I hung up the phone immediately. And then I thought about it, and I said, maybe it's okay, so I called back. So, Kevin, are you, do you, Kevin. you on your channel, are you doing a show? Are you doing your own show, or are you just playing comedy clips? 
No, no, I'm doing my own show. I'm doing my own radio show. Oh, okay. okay he's got a weekly I'm show. My own show. Yeah, yep. it'll be once a week. It'll be once a week. Myself and uh, my guys are open for me, me and the Plastic Cup boys, and we'll have a weekly show. Okay. Every, we're debating on a day. It'll be every Friday or Saturday. We're trying to figure out the day. Uh, uh, but uh, we're going to go live February 14th for sure. Kevin, the guys that open for you, uh, I heard good things about them. I, I think maybe uh, I have some opening dates if uh, you want to squeeze me in just for a little bit of uh, flavor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, boss. Uh, you know what? We know about your opening dates. Uh, those opening dates are called the rest of the year. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen. Hey, I have I had a guy open for me that opens for your guys, and he was selling candy bars after the show uh, <laughs> in Philly. <laughs> he had candy bars with his fucking picture on it. I go get a CD or at least a. I know these guys like the back of my hand. We I go, get a CD or at least a shirt. He was selling candy bars. You know what it is? I'm going to tell you something, man. I've yet to change <laughs> our core group. The reason yeah. why, man, we've been together from the beginning. I know these guys like the back of my hand. We know each other's behavior. Nobody's doing nothing stupid. If it's not broke, you don't try to That's fix so it. That's so true. Hey, can I, can I, hey, guys, can I get the guy with the candy bar to open for me? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Bob will wind up fucking just handing the money over here. <laughs> Sorry. I, I, I ate your fucking, uh, I ate your merch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they, we have to break. Kevin, they're telling us that you you have a limited time anyway. Bobby, uh, I'll see you Sunday night. And uh, Kevin's tour, again, it's Kevin Hart 4, Redeal number 4. KevinHartNation.com. And uh, the tour goes on sale today. A hundred new dates across North America, Europe, Australia, and Asia. But for the North American and, and, and European dates, you'll hear them on this yes. show Uh you know, there's a lot of local dates here at the Garden. These are all going to sell out. They're on sale today, 12 o'clock East Coast and, time. And no Groupons. It's all. Why, Rich? Hey, man. No, I don't know what Hey, I appreciate you, man. I love you. Thank you for taking the time. Boss, I love you. Thank Bobby, I love you. I miss you guys, man. Can't wait to get back to New York, catch up with you soon. But as always, man, it's always so good talking and catching up with you guys. All right, buddy. Uh, I'm going to come see one of your shows. I've not seen you live in probably 15 years. I want to come see Kevin when he's in town. Yeah, so maybe I'll see you. i a good. jackass and come support me. Jesus. I, I know, I know. I will. I just have to realize that's what a full room looks like. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, buddy. All right. <laughs> All, right, bye. All right, Kevin. I'll see you. Bobby, see you later, buddy, okay? Bye, guys. Bye, buddy. That was funny. Um, all right, listen, we got to take a break, and uh, we have. They told us that, that worked out well with Kevin because he had to go. Uh, Joel Kinnaman is coming up next. Rich is going to be with Ron Bennington and uh, Florentine, which is such a good show in uh, Connecticut. What night? February 9th at the Ridgefield Playhouse. This weekend at uh, Bananas in Hasbrook Heights. February yep. 9th, Ridgefield Va Playhouse. Voss is a fucking uh, savage on stage. And also, I will be in uh, Denver Friday, Saturday, doing uh, the Comedy Works, one of the best clubs in the entire world. And then uh, next week, the 9th, I'm going to be uh, in the Count Basie Theater in New Jersey. Jersey, and uh, the Paramount Long Island for the 10th may or may not be sold out. Uh -huh. Steven Singer is, of course, here um, uh, helping us out and uh, giving away free roses. And uh, go to Steven Singer, uh, I hate Steven Singer com, and uh, buy yourself a rose or buy it for your girlfriend and uh, make up for being a piece of shit all year. We'll be right back. Stay there. Going to like comedian Jim. Back. All right. Ah, uh, yes, we are back. We return, and uh, Joel Kinnaman is uh, coming in now. Hey, man. How's it going? How are you doing? Good to meet you. Hi, Joel. Good to see you. Sit down. Good to see you, man. How are you? Major comment. <laughs> How are you doing? You say major comment. Yeah, and it's always good. To, that's yeah. why when Joel says hi, actor. Oh, no, I don't know. Oh, present, just for showing like up. <laughs> Your uh, wife, the character on House of Cards... Was beautiful, and I would. Like, I'm married, but I'd like to meet her. Yeah. Um, Is she uh, married? I don't you, know. I don't know. You're trying to ask him to. That's his TV wife. He, wanna, that's not, yes, that's not his, he wants yes. to get up with Robin Wright. I, uh, no, not Robin Wright. Oh, oh, oh Dom, Dominique. Played, Dominique. Yeah, yeah. Your wife. Okay, so she, Robin Wright was 
my wife in the show in my mind. Yeah. So that was. So Joel, did, have, you, have you had an interview where nobody tried to get you to set you uh, up with your TV wife? No, I think that's the first time actually. <laughs> I like one? I like how you work, man. You can tell he's a major comic. <laughs> yeah, major, yeah, yeah, that's a definite major comic move. Act. Yeah, hey, that's the a costume a, designer on that movie. Yeah. Right, yeah, good. That's a show business move. Isn't yeah. It? Hey, your TV wife. Can you hook me up you with hook her? Me up. Yeah, but you, you know. do though when you when you do certain. I've, I've had like little, very very minor intimate moments with women on film, like and it's like you do connect a little bit. I can't imagine what it's like to play somebody's husband oh, I know. for the entire season. There, You do develop an intimacy. It's weird. It gets weird. But were you, are you, did you have that? Do you, are you, will you get close to somebody and all of a sudden you see what their real life and it feels a little odd at, at one point? I mean, sometimes you get real close. You do, right? Real, real close. Yeah, I guess that's common. Yeah. Have you dated anybody that you've worked with? Um, I think so yeah yeah because so, so you're together for sweden. hours yeah, yeah. But also back in you know when i was making movies back in sweden there's a you get even closer um what? it's just that, like the the sets are more intimate we're not so concerned with nudity and uh, um it's just uh it's a little more free-flowing okay. and also i was younger too so so it's like now i'm married you know you have a more professional approach to it so when, so um, the sex scenes are a little bit like <laughs> more intense when you're a younger guy and you're in sweden yeah and, and it's like all of a sudden you're like hey i kind of like, i'm attracted to this person yeah. and it's like you're both yeah. why well, not i don't know what's so different between me and a porn actor right now those kind of thoughts <laughs> well, <laughs> well, do you have to wear, have to wear something do you have to wear a sock or something not like in that? sweden there's no socks in sweden so you just uh, kind of pressed up against somebody yeah it's just kind of rubbing and grinding so it really Weird. is like a awesome. Weird, porn, yeah. <laughs> porn movie, except because the director is like an established yeah. guy. And it was a courtroom drama, so it was weird. <laughs> <laughs> What's that smell? What's that smell? <laughs> but you really do. You, you do nude shot. scenes for, for real nude. Because I, I thought you yeah. had to cover up or something. But no. No, not in, so, that's awesome. back not to in Europe. Jim's question. Like, is it is does there get to be a weird thing when you develop this sort of connection with somebody on a set? And then you kind of start to drift into real life. And you're like, wait. This isn't the person and we were we were acting like this person. I don't actually even know this person Yeah, but the thing is that you like it, it's sort of in that moment and and also you're in a character and you're in this You know circumstance so it, it you know it feels really powerful at the moment and then as soon as you take a step back You know usually it kind of disappears and it's also you're in a set in front of 250 people which kind of takes the intimacy out of it So yeah, you're, you're actually trying to create make it more intimate in that moment and as soon as you step out it you know it, it's um it it kind of dissipates when did you develop uh did you purposely develop an american accent thinking i want to go to the states and and act or was that something you had to do for a role well really, i mean it's it's i had no you're one of these actors that i had no idea had an accent yeah you're, you're like a guy, you should have been in the wire like i had no idea he's <laughs> from fucking overseas yeah it's embarrassing like he's better yeah. american accent than i have <laughs> well, well my dad's american so I, I grew up speaking English with my dad, but I had like a Swedish accent uh, to it. Um, so, and then when I came here, I came here about eight years ago. Um, you know, they told me that I had like a, a, a Swedish accent, but um, but because I grew up bilingual since birth, um, you know, I could hear on myself like, okay, that's like that's the wrong melody. So it was much easier to sort of. Uh, Get an American accent, you, you, and then and then I also I went to high school here for a year. Uh, I went to high, uh, in Texas. Oh wow! Uh, yeah. Sweden to Texas. Why why such a? Was your father from Texas? No no no. That it was just random. Um, I was getting into a lot of trouble back home, and uh, that it just seemed like a great getaway you know to was that a punishment to send you to texas no i was like i was i was begging for it i was begging for it what kind of yeah. trouble were you fighting a lot you're a big dude yeah i was mostly getting beat up <laughs> really <laughs> yeah I, I wasn't a big dude then um did no, you just have a chip on your shoulder that no i had i had this group of friends that were you know they sort of were on a you know straight career path to you know they were they all turned out to be career criminals and, oh so you were going down a bad road yeah, yeah yeah and but i was never like i wasn't as tough as them and then i was trying to sort of extract myself from them and they did not like that so when i sort of removed myself from them i started to try to like hang out with other people then you know as soon as they ran into me with 
uh, other friends. friends, then they would beat up my new friends. Were they you would in a gang? Wow. Was it, was it, were you in a gang? It's not, it wasn't like a, fi- like there was no name or anything like that, but it, it, Just the group you hung with. Yeah, exactly. When Jim was a kid, he was in a, he, he tried to start a gang with his friends, <laughs> and you know what the name of the gang That's, was? It's, 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 cool. it was? It was The Lords. <laughs> Look, yes. Uh, I, I, I will let you know. It sounds you, like a different kind of gang. <laughs> <laughs> it was, we were douches. I, I'll be honest. We were young douchebags. After we a successful uh, show like House of Cards, do you still have to audition? And if you do, when you're seeing who you're up against, do you like go, oh, fuck, I don't have a shot or get nervous or you just do what you do? Um, I, I don't have to audition anymore. I, I have not done an audition in a while, but I'm, I'm sure that there will be projects where I have to audition. But um, Or, you know, put myself on tape or something like that. I, I haven't done it in a couple of years. Um, so that's sort of the... The, the reward you get from sort of climbing the ladder a little well, bit. Well, some guys want you to read. Like, I heard Woody Allen would, like, he, like yeah. everyone reads for him. Like, yeah. it's nothing yeah. personal. It's just, or like Jim Carrey made a tape to do Man on the Moon. Like, there yeah, are I projects, mean, I'm yes. sure. And, and, and I think it's, it's sort of, uh, as soon as you step out of uh, stuff that you have already done or, or, you know, where people right. can sort of associate with something else that you've done and, and you, you know, step up in level, maybe you're hoping that, you know, one of the big directors is going to take a shot at you, you know, of course, then you, you'll have to do something to, does to it, show them that uh, you're worthy. Sure. Does it shoot your confidence or does it, I, I can never, cause like, you know, I've read that, uh, you were almost Thor and you were almost <laughs> Mad Max, like, or, or right, right. whatever. You were almost the star of Mad Max. You were almost the star of Thor both times. Does it shoot your confidence to be like, why can't I get these big movies? Or does it make you go like, oh my God, I almost got that big movie. That means I'm on the right track here. Well, that was, it was kind of interesting because those were the first two auditions that I did in the U.S. So I, I wow. did, the first audition I did was Thor. To and, be Thor. Yeah. Right. And um, and then and then I was sort of in the final four for that and it didn't work out. And then the, the second one I did was Mad Max. And um, and then I went got a call back and they said that it was sort of me and two other guys and you know then they gave it to Tom. Um, he so, was good though. Oh, he was good. I mean, honestly, I I, I like when he is when he is on. I, I just saw the fourth season of Peaky Blinders. I haven't. I've, I've watched one episode of it. I have not watched. I couldn't show. get past the first Me episode. I, I, but I, sometimes I, you got to give a couple episodes. I People really say like it. So, I really so like good. it. But like what what Tommy's doing there, it's. Uh, I mean, sometimes I think that you know he can be really big. You sure. Know, it's. I, I find him like always compelling to watch. Sometimes I'm like seeing what he's doing in a way, um, but like when he is at his best, I don't. I, I can't think of anyone in like my generation that I think is more interesting to watch. I'm like, he can be really, really fucking good. So you don't get like uh, weird and, and jealous about guys that you look at and be like, he's really good. Like you can appreciate what they're doing. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I try to like, uh, I mean, of course I f- feel jealous feelings sometimes. Sure. And, and, but I really try to, you know, steer away from that kind of you have to feel sentiment. it a little bit but when you see a guy doing as well as he did in Mad Mag like it's, it's hard to argue why they gave no, it to him even I, if you were good but I honestly get inspired by it it's like it makes me want to work harder and it probably helps too like once you get House of Cards and Suicide Squad and now I mean Altered Carbon is getting like all kinds of great reviews yeah Friday on Netflix is yeah, available that probably puts you in a much better Headspace in terms of like, yeah, I'm good at this too. You know, sure, of course, that that makes it easier. Yeah, and we got to ask you too. What, the, the, you know, obviously you're sick and tired of talking about Kevin Spacey, but what, like, how was it work? Because he's such a great he really actor. Did Cloud like a great show. Like we should, we could just talk about House of Cards being awesome. Yeah, but now that has to be attached. Yeah, it has to, have it, right? to or it's it's, yeah. it's it, because you know obviously it's a great pr- project to be involved with as an artist and creatively. And were there when when things kind of broke, were you shocked? Were you shocked or were you like, yeah, I kind of suspected. I wasn't shocked. You weren't? No. But, I mean, like, I had a great uh, work, uh, working relationship with him. You know, he was very friendly to me. (laughs) I understand. (laughs) I don't go the same way he goes, but I'll be honest. I look at you and I'm like, I get it. (laughs) I look at you looking at him. (laughs) Oh, so now it's... uh, He was a fan of yours. He he, he was friendly. He was very happy that I was there. Okay. (laughs) He he wished you played his bodyguard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let me ask you a question in general. When someone is happy that you're there, let's just say uh, when somebody who's uh, maybe uh, into you and you're not into that person in general, how do you allow them to know, I'm glad you're happy I'm here, but let's we're not, not going to get the, Let's keep it polite and move yeah. on. Yeah. How do you allow them to know that? I mean, I think it's... Uh, 
to, to me, it's pretty simple. You know, uh, I mean, what's he what's he gonna do? You know, he can't. I mean, I'm just I'm just being. You know, I'm talking to him and I'm being polite and I'm laughing. You know, at if we're if we're having fun, but um, you know, this just. There's There's a, did a he try to get career. touchy and handsy feely? <laughs> no, he did one thing. That, one time when he uh, he was like Joel, we were doing this big scene, and uh, there was a lot of a lot of extras around. It was like this big ballroom, and I I walked in. It was like my first scene of the day, and he'd already been shooting, and he was in the middle of uh, changing his shirt, and um, and then I walked in, and he was like Joel. He was like very happy to see me, <laughs> and uh, and then while I walked up, he was like tucking in his shirt, and then. But his, you know, the pants was um, uh, buttoned, but the fly was open. So while he was like tucking in, he like ran his hands through the flyer and wanted to shake my hand that through way. Through his fly. Through his fly. <laughs> through his flyer. So I was like, all right, I. I I give you a fist bump like that was. <laughs> I can give. Then he turned around. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when, so so when you say when you say that that you weren't shocked, is it because you had heard things, or just because you're like anybody that tries to shake your hand through their fly is is, is probably got something going on? No, but I mean I, I think you know with Kevin it was sort of. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't want to like get into it too much, but sure. it, it's like he, uh, you, you'd heard stories, you know, sure. like, but it's all rumors. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We have, you, who do we have that said, uh, John Bernthal came on and he yes. was talking about, and he said that he was abusive to people on set. I was surprised that John said that, but he goes, w did you notice that? Was he, was he, on baby obviously he was nice to you on baby driver. Yeah. 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 But yeah. Did, did you see, was he yelling at people or no? No, no. I, I mean, he, he was perfectly professional. Oh, okay. So yeah. you saw the better when, side. No. Yeah. When you, sh when you were uh, sh like, say, Whatever season, did you do all the White House scenes for that season without moving to another location, or did you shoot one one episode at a time? Hold on, we're, we're all. That's a great let us, question. Let us just enjoy it? the stunned silence of everyone well, in the room. You don't think that's a good? Do you I, I don't. Think, no, I don't I, think that's a good no, question. Not a good question. If we were it's talking about White House location shoot, right? <laughs> that wouldn't no, be a good I'm just wondering like, when you like if you TV. said if no, you said Joel is coming in to promote where he shoots his scenes. Yeah, we were talking. I, we would be a bad question. He was discussing the scene stuff. No, no, we understand that. We understand. Hold on, the gaffer. Could you talk about the gaffer? He's talking about space. He's trying to shake his hand through his fly, and you're like, so hey, did they pick you up in a van or did you get your own car in the morning? Shut up. No behind the scenes stuff so far. We hadn't we hadn't addressed it yet. Okay, so you got to start somewhere. Okay, you guys, look, you go for the obvious. Hey, the Kevin Spacey. Right, I'm no, talking no. some that is true. serious yeah. television. No, absolutely. I'm, I'm with you. I'm, Wait uh, until Entertainment Tonight absolute, gets yeah. the scoop about uh, how, where, yes. in what order he shot the his White scenes. House location scene. Did they do them all at once or were for you the back whole and forth? Season. I understand. Good, good right. point. Were, they, were you back and forth for those to yeah. really break it? Yeah, it was a little. It was a little back and forth. I should like that. So what you're basically saying is that they build a set and they use it more than one day. Yeah, they do. Okay, there you go. Wow. This breaking show yeah. business. They use a set more than one day yeah. for an ongoing project. <laughs> so so no, I watched uh, I watched the new show, <laughs> Alter Carbon, um, and it really is good. It deals with like uh, uh, the, the, <laughs> the future and downloading consciousness and things like that. Yeah. I, I, obviously, uh, I saw the first scene. Do you have to be in shape? At all times, because like you say, you're, you don't audition anymore, but people probably expect that because you're in like ridiculous shape for this thing. Because he starts, I don't know if you saw it, Jim, but the opening of the show, it's a back to back to Joel being nude again. It's it's like he's back home, <laughs> <laughs> but you're yeah. like you know completely nude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Fucking butt naked. Butt naked. Yeah. <laughs> I know, Rich. It's exciting. <laughs> and fighting. <laughs> fighting by the like that poor yeah. guy. Like I, I put like a neon belly on this one guy and, and he, it's a neon belly, like balls in mouth. <laughs> do, you, <laughs> do you do all your naked scenes in one day? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but like so do you do you have to be like like I always think about it with fighters. Fighters have to be in fighting shape for you know, one yeah. fight and they work up sure. to it. But do you have to kind of at this point? Yeah, I mean, no, that was a big challenge because if you do a movie, maybe you have like one right. shirtless scene and then you sort of work your way up to that. But this was a 10 month shoot where, you know, it was a female showrunner. So I was like, I have my shirt off in every fucking episode. <laughs> so. But is it weird when you fight a guy naked? Like, if you have to fight a guy naked, I'm taking it your, I'm not sure what your orientation is, but if you're straight and you have to fight a guy naked, does it feel weird to be that intimately connected to a guy or no? I mean, it did feel weird for me, uh, but I'm sure it felt really weird for him. I guess it all depends on 
yeah. who's winning. Yeah, you know? yeah. I was, I was winning. You I was on top. Fight. Okay. <laughs> Joel did get himself in shape though. He's now, in this show. He's got the body structure of a guy who would fight naked. Like Jim, if you or I fought naked, it would be horrible. We'd like, be getting wouldn't... beaten up naked. Yeah. And rid- if, if Sam and I were naked in the yeah. film, it'd be a gang beating us yeah. up, yeah. ridiculing us. It right. would be set in the shower. Yeah. Yes, it would be. Yeah. It would be. Yes. Oh. be. <laughs> yeah. I look like a raft. <laughs> <laughs> Did you uh, when you when you get these scripts? Do you kind of uh, figure that this show because it's tough, especially on Netflix, where like the the viewer base is going to be like, okay, we've seen you on really great stuff. Now you've got this new show. Like, do you look at the script and be like, yes, I know that this is going to be one of those good shows, or do you just go like, let's let's roll the dice on this one, let's take a chance. <laughs> Um, no, I mean, uh, of course, I'm hoping that it's going to be, you know, one of the great shows. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's that thing with, with television. There's always a little bit of a gamble because usually you don't, you don't get to read all of the episodes. Of course. But, um, but here, you know, I was, I was thrilled about yeah. how this turned out. And it's also, it was like, um, the, the ambition behind it was, you know, kind of unparalleled. <laughs> and I'm a big sci-fi nerd. And, yeah. And I love these kind of dystopian tales of the future and this sort of cyberpunk aesthetic and and you know to get that was that was one of the things that I was really excited about that you know Netflix they come in um, they give a project like this uh, you know a big budget Hollywood movie kind yeah, of a absolutely. budget but then at the same time it's a hard R rating yeah. so you can really you can portray the sex and the violence as it is in the book and what's great too is that like for sci-fi we're at a place where you can watch this show and like realistically say like yeah that's probably where we're going you know what I mean we're not yeah. dealing with these like concepts that like you really have to stretch your imagination yeah you for. can see how it happens like Black Mirror you can kind Precisely. of see this Precisely. we have to wrap up because our show you know, ends but we have to wrap up because our show oh, is ending let's, 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 let's thank you Joel for coming uh, yeah pleasure to be here and it's Joel Kinnaman on Twitter yes Altered Carbon is available Friday on Netflix it's a great show and um, and, and of course uh, Rich Voss will be appearing where I'll be at, at the- Bananas this weekend and February 9th the Ridgefield Playhouse Bennington, Bennington and Florentine, and, Florentine and, and you. Great theater. You'll love it. And uh, you can also see our movie. That was on Netflix for two years. It's on iTunes. Women Aren't Funny. Okay. That my wife and I made. I and just Steven wanted to plug the Netflix thing. I know. I Steven, I, we know. <laughs> Steven Singer, thank you for coming. <laughs> thank uh, you. I hate Stevensinger.com, our best sponsor and a good friend for many years. So yes. that, we appreciate oh, you being done. here. We're done. Yeah, that's why we're ending the show. Why do you think I would cut oh, the interview fuck, off? fuck, we're so done why would, you, why, I, why would I cut the interview off and then plug if we had another hour to go? I just wanted to reset. <laughs> yeah. I'll be in, shut up. I'll be in Denver this uh, Friday, Saturday at the Comedy World. And uh, the Chip Chipperson oh podcast God. on Riotcast.com. Uh, who we have tomorrow? Tomorrow, tomorrow. Some, I still no want to way. find out about the White House sets. I'm still excited right, about yeah, that. Yeah. We'll, we'll film the show <laughs> after the show. All right. We'll do a deep dive into that. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah. Joel, thanks a lot, pal. Okay. Thanks so much. Bye.